nostalgic welcome to the show hi guys welcome to the channel hope you guys are doing well yes we continue with our earns apple challenge it's uh we're trying to wrap things up as quickly as we can we're still in uh that stage country two stage two we have to win two league titles win domestic cup naturally with all the saves i'm doing yeah we have to prioritize next season when i do um these kind of live streams i'm just gonna stick on one and then for the rest i'll just do video guides and stuff like that so that it's easier for people otherwise we're never gonna finish a live stream <laughs> i used to do that like just stay on one right and then we finish it so this season that's exactly what next season for fm22 that's gonna be my plans uh so interestingly enough i'm quite curious right as far as you guys are concerned like uh, how do you guys prepare for fm22 like how would you s go about setting everything up for fm22 hey renato gomez hey how are you man hey thanks thanks yeah i went to this is very hard to get this is not easy to find uh this is one of the hardest jerseys I, 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 had to, I had to hunt it down. Yeah. Then, then I became pretty lucky getting the jersey. Yeah. So, yeah. Such is life, right? You got to put in some effort before these kind of things. Uh, you, you can, you know, if your my plan was to find this jersey. And um, yeah, I'm lucky. I'm very lucky. So... So with FM22 coming around the corner, right? So I, was, I thought I'd share with you guys exactly what I'm going to do, right? For my own self, right? When I want to prepare for FM22, what do I do? There are three things I do at the top of my list. The first thing I always do is I go into the game. Okay, we'll just go into the game right now. Okay, I go into the game, right? Now, there are certain things I will definitely be doing and I won't be changing them. One is my training schedules, right? So you want to either take a screenshot of them or... Yeah screenshot of them or you do something else right so uh, what i normally do is i just keep a folder of all these around lying around so i've got all these uh all these uh schedules like the, the schedule that i'll definitely be using next season is still this one because as far as, as far as i'm aware there has been no there are no major changes to training okay uh then except for one or two things right so when the game launches i'll like, tell you exactly what you what has changed in terms of training now boot camp still applies like the first week of training i know people say oh my god this is ridiculously um difficult i mean this is crazy you're putting it just the first week because in the first week what you're looking at doing is you want to build up endurance uh not, not really endurance but you're looking at this natural fitness right so you want to work on players natural fitness because the the imp what's important is getting their natural fitness up hold on i need to close the door before my animals come into the house or the room. Okay. Them animals will start coming in. <laughs> my kids. <laughs> so and they, and they take over, right? You know, so, sometimes I play my saves, right? My son will come in and then he will want to play. And then I'm go like, okay. You know, when you have kids, right, you, you kind of not want to shut them out. But when I'm streaming, maybe I should. But uh, when I'm playing my games, my son will come in and he'll start cheering for the opposition and he'll start playing the game himself. He'll just tell that he'll just tell me he wants to take over the club. <laughs> then I go like, okay. Well, he's young, right? So, and he's already... Oh, okay, speaking of games, right? So I bought this game called Rayman Legends. Okay, I, I don't know if you guys have heard of this game. Okay, I'll, I'll just see where I can find it here. Okay. Okay, the game is called Rayman Legends, right? Now, this is a fantastic game, right? uh let's see okay i'll show you the game uh this is not the game okay this is like not this is i'm gonna get into trouble for showing that uh let's see if i can find some more videos of the game uh game trade trailer okay i'll show you this one so this game i got it for my I this is definitely not the game. What the hell man? This is Ubisoft. Damn it. Uh where the hell which one can I go to? Uh I wanna find something that looks like we can show it without me getting in trouble. Okay, that's the one. 110 views. As long as it doesn't play music, this okay, this game, right? Check this game out. So I got this game initially for my wife, right? The music is fantastic in this game, okay? So, um, 
It's like Mario Brothers meets... Uh, it's a side-scroller. It's very, very... It's very interesting to play. Okay, so... Let's go. Let's come in here. So, I got this game. And I was playing... I, I got it for my wife when she was pregnant. and But, she, of course, she didn't play it. And then, uh, my sons uh, were born. So, at the age of three, he started playing it. Now, both my sons are playing it. And they finished the game. And I'm talking about they're doing things I can't do. And he's only five years old. So, he's managed to finish the whole game... Uh, you got all the way to the credits of this game because the, the challenges in this game are fantastic. So I was so impressed with his ability to play the game. Man, I was like, holy cow, this is my son and the way he plays these games. So yeah, I'm not going to discourage him from playing the games. So uh, any views on Newcastle becoming the richest team in the world and tips on how to build a club? Yeah, I don't know. Newcastle becoming the richest team in the world. Yeah, I don't think they'll be the richest team in the world. But they've got certainly got some of the richest benefactors in the world. I just um, I just find it a bit disgusting that um, countries can own clubs just because they are a bit. I mean, the only reason why the Saudi family when I bought that club was because the Qatari family had bought the other club. <laughs> so it's a case of one up syndrome in Middle East. And trust me, there's a lot of one up syndrome over there. So we've got this boot camp and the people that are going to suffer the Newcastle. The, uh, I'm going to tell you this much. Right? This is what I believe. At the end of the day, the fans are going to suffer. So boot camp, I'm going to keep. I suggest keeping this. And I got this balanced early training. Now, why do I use this schedule? I use this schedule very simply because um, it's a balance, meaning you get tactical familiarity. It's very important. Um I mean, for those guys who are obsessed about tactical familiarity, you need to get it up in about... You can The fastest you can do it, and I've done it the fastest, which as I admit is the fastest, uh, is about eight weeks. Right? I managed to get it in eight weeks. Which, that means the moment preseason ends, my players are already tactically familiar. Now, this is not the aggressive one, but there's one more that's a bit more aggressive, but it, there's a potential that it'll lead to injury, so I, I avoided that one. So here we've got everything that you can possibly need for getting tactical familiarity up. In the max one, I don't use this. I just have all the elements for tactical familiarity. So we get all this in. Uh, so what I would replace this with would be... Where's this? Okay, there we go. Then you get max, every element for tactical familiarity is inside here. So once tactical familiarity is reached... And this is the other thing about tactical familiarity, right? So when it comes to training, right? For Even for FM22, this is why you got, guys got to remember. Go to your squad. Uh, go to your tactics page. Uh, you can actually do it from here, right? So you, you see all this... Uh, you just quick pick. Now, most of your players, right? The only reason why players like this are not tactically familiar... Okay, this is very good already considering the fact that he never plays right but what do you want to aim for you see uh what do you want to aim for is so once you get mentality passing star creative freedom uh marking tempo and width maximized right okay um or pressing and any one of those once they are maximized that's when you drop your balance training schedule now there are times when i tweak it like, for example, sometimes I might find that a play, you know, in this particular case, right, he's got mentality, max style, my passing style, max style, creative freedom. All these are max style, except for width and pressing intensity. So when I go, then all I do in my training is I go to my schedules. I go to one of these. It was pressing intensity and width, right? So does this give you pressing intensity? It doesn't just overall fitness. Does this give you pressing intensity? You can see the tactical familiarity, pressing inside. So we need more of these. So I would probably remove this because we already got uh, creative freedom, right? So I will drop attacking because you can get creative freedom from this, right? You can get creative freedom. So you can main you use this to maintain, right? Then um, then you you might I might drop this. I might drop this. Uh, we need width, right? So this one doesn't give me width. This one doesn't give me width. So I remove both of these. Uh, tactical should give me width. Right? So I mean, so I do like, since I remove one, two, and three, I'll add one defending here, one tactical here, maybe another uh, another defending here because I've got another tactical. So what that will do is it will jack up the um, the tactical familiarity for all those players who are short, right? And, you know, the rest will maintain. Now, 
the thing about tactical familiarity is I don't particularly care about it very much, but there are completionists in this game who are very who who just I get obsessed with completionistic things. Like you, I, I want it to be maximum. Honestly, tactical familiarity is jack shit. Okay. Alright, it doesn't mean that much. Right, just like training and your badges don't mean much. Right. You know, people people who say that badges mean a lot, no, they don't. Honestly. You can go with the lowest amount of badges, can improve, you know. Yeah, you make your challenge a bit harder, but maybe your reputation as a manager is a bit lower. But in terms of um in the lower leagues, your badges, your your don't affect your ability to coach. I mean, because you're never going to worry about coaching when you're in the lower leagues. Your players don't last long enough for you to worry about their development, like one season, two seasons, and you're promoted. So you don't want to bother about that. What if you never get promoted? Do you worry about badges? Still doesn't really matter because you will be cycling through players as you go through, right? So most of these players, the moment they get promoted to the next tier, you can't keep them. And you, you can't wait for them to develop because then you'll be like just one of those lower league clubs that never leaves the lower leagues. So you're going to have to look at finding ways of getting some results here and attracting the attention of other players. And the, attracting the other attention from other players comes from your league reputation. And your league reputation is very, very low. So you're going to be you're going to be inviting players to a trial. You're going to try and loan. The easiest way, loan players. That's like, the uh, you know, if you go for a Lama save, like hardcore saves, when you loan players, they kick you out of the forums. That kind of thing, you know, in the old days. You know, you're not even allowed to loan players. But... Because it's generally considered that when you loan players, that's like, hey man, why are you taking the easy way out? See? What happened to the one? Oh, the one training schedule is still here. Then after the after you've got tactical familiarity, you go to the one and only training schedule. Then you stay on this for the rest of the season. Like, you don't even come off this training schedule. Just stay on it. Right? Now, for me, personally speaking, I don't care. Like, in this game that I'm playing, right? I've only been using this schedule since pre-season. Like pre-season, I only had like four weeks of balance training schedule. After that, I swapped. I didn't care about tactical familiarity because I don't really care about tactical familiarity. Even this schedule gives you a, a, a decent amount of tactical familiarity. This gives you act, uh, attacking, oh sorry, all the elements here. This gives you all the elements here. This gives you all the elements as well. So you got three sessions that give you all the elements. I mean like, what are you gonna prioritize tactical familiarity over your attribute development? You gotta be insane, man, in this game. You do that, then it's like, man, that's not min maxing, that's like meaning. <laughs> You're doing the very minimal things to get ahead in this game. And why have I done this to my tactic? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna play this for a while. Uh, we're gonna switch to this. I, I don't know. I, I, I haven't been playing for a bit. Uh been working on something else because uh we all know something is coming and I've been very busy preparing for it. Yeah, so I've been preparing for FM22. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of things I can't tell anybody. Thanks. Building a things to do strategy. So, okay, the first thing you do, right? The first thing is sort out your training schedules because you're gonna, you are definitely going to be bringing them over. And don't worry about it too much. Just save them in a nice place. Okay? All right, just save them in a nice place. All right, things you don't want to do. Biggest piece of advice I'm going to tell you right now. You know those graphics and those pictures you download? I know everybody wants to do them. Okay. Um, for the first week, try not to. You want to stay, but you want to see how your game, because you're gonna have you might have issues with loading the game and stuff. Because the early skins, they might have some issues. So stick to the more reputable skins that you know are, you know. There are some skins that are always very solid. They are First generation, they are the first generation skins. Meaning, the guys who made the skins are the the kings of the skins, right? And a lot of just the other skins are just mild modifications of that guy's skin, right? So who do I who am I referring to? Look for Michael Murray. If you need want some skins, go for Michael Murray's uh, dark skins because they are the base for a lot of the other skins. So that's the guy you want to check out. So uh, then you go to the skins forum, you look for Michael Murray skins. Now, I won't recommend it because I think the skin, unless you are, you, you've got a problem with pink, I think the new skin actually looks quite good. Um, the other, so that's the second thing, right? The third thing you want to do is go to your tactics, find your favorite tactics, right? Save them again. Now, create a folder because you know, if you're like me, you probably got to have one of these kind of folders where you've got every, like, this is just the, look guys, this is just this safe. 
The amount of tax, this is one of the reasons why my saves never really move very far because everybody is asking me to create different kinds of tactics. So this one save has all these tactics in there. My goodness, this is insane, man. Okay. All right. So have a folder where you have your tactics and then create another folder, maybe within the tactics folder where you, you, the, these are the tactics you want to you want to use in FM22, right? Then you either take screenshots of them or you save them first because you never know what's going to happen, right? My recommendation is just create a folder, put them in. Don't worry about saving screenshots of them. Just put them in there. And then when FM22 rolls around the corner, you got FM21, you can always go to it. Or if you want to take screenshots and, you know, but yeah. To watch my video on the first day. You'd be surprised what I tell you to do. Uh, so you keep your favorite tactics. Now, one thing about tactics, right? okay, there are some roles currently in the game that I think are broken. Okay, These are the, two, the roles that are broken. This role is broken. You see this? This is a Super Bowl winner because he can do this. I mean, this means the ball winning midfielder can wreak havoc in this tier, which is one of the reasons why these strikers tactics are so strong. So every time you can like send guy a guy here to wreak havoc over here, and I still do his job here and wreak havoc over here. This is like one crazy wreak havoc guy. The other role that's broken is this role. He too can do that. This becomes a super box to box midfielder. All right, so. I don't know whether SI is going to fix this. I mean, I, I I did raise this point a few months ago. So I, I did say this. Because I just want the reasons why. The only the really reasons why now you see me playing strikers like this is because I want you guys to be aware of it. But um, if you find that you have a tactic that does that, then don't, don't bring it over. It won't work. Yeah, it won't work anymore. Right. So I'm enjoying this while it lasts because this ain't working anymore after this. Yeah. So find tactics that work, right? Your favorite tactics that you enjoyed. Maybe you downloaded uh, some from some, you know, you, maybe you, these are tactics you downloaded from your favorite creator. Moi. <laughs> I'm so full of it. Oh, these are tactics you created for yourself. So if these are tactics you created for yourself, please do. Let me give you an idea of how tactics can stay relevant. Red Faro was created in FM17. Because it had no exploits, it used no exploits in the game, it continued to work in 18, 19, 20, and 21. F Liquid used an exploit, manipulated one of the exploits. It only worked in one version of the game, right? So this is this is when you know a tactic can work in multiple versions. Uh, will tactics be able to work? Like in now in currently in FM22, see this role? Stay wider, right? I change it to ball playing defender. This is how I get this role to play like the white center back. Dribble more and stay wider. He will play like the white center back. Now we'll just, you know, this is a bit crazy, but we'll do it, right? Just because we want to show this. Now this is crazy. Now I've got three of them. Oh boy. This is going to be funky as hell. But the only thing he doesn't do that the white center back does in the game is the early cross. I mean, I'm ex fully expecting the white center back to be able to cross the ball. I mean, why else would you have a white center back, right? You wouldn't. I mean, if you can do this now, as I wouldn't create a white center back, right? If if this is the only reason that to have a white center back, I guarantee you it's gonna come with crossing abilities. So so this this currently we don't have any options to cross the ball. So I expect in FM22 the options to cross the ball. Why? Because then it makes sense to have a white center back, right? Because it's going to be different from the ball playing defender who's only we can PR the crap out of to do this. So this is not an exploit because you should be able to do this in FM. What is it? 22. Do I have specific plans? Oh, tech, thanks, man. Maximovich, a sexy person, you. Welcome back, man. Do you adjust detail level or leave on default? Does it badly affect speed of your game? Uh, okay, detail level. Now, this okay, this one. All right. They op they tend to optimize Football Manager every single year. So, like, um, last year was optimized. It performed better than the year before. However, there was a problem in this Football Manager where uh, if you were to... I don't know. We're just going to confirm. I don't know whether anybody's going to make it. Oh, shit. European Champions clear off. Late is not coming. Oh, no, 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 no. Can I re-register? <laughs> Damn it. 
I should be paying attention to these kind of things, you know. Oh dear Lord, I didn't bring late with me. I need late, man. One of my tactics all fall apart. Wait, we need, no, the mirror is fine. Let, let's just sort this one out first, right? Conrad Lamer is here. Where's late? Late has to come. Yeah, okay, come on. I can't. Testing changes only. Okay. What the hell? Where's the confirm button? Oh man, I submitted the team already. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So, um, so when you when you go to the game, right, you got detail levels, right? The okay, you've got uh I don't know ex uh when you refer to detail level, okay, let, let's are you referring to if you're referring to this, right? Mine is in default because I don't really I don't really tweak this very much. I just want to get the news and that's about me. Because I don't use this screen a lot, right? Because this gives me detail level on the news, right? So let's say um, international, all competitive matches here. Like, you know, I don't get any other information from other stuff. Like here, this gives you all the information and whether I want to watch their games, right? So it's entirely up to you. But I do it from here. I actually come here and I go into this and I do it from here. I prefer this this method. So I like to customize my news. So I'm only interested in a certain set of news. So I'm only, I'm only interested in youth news. I can't be bothered about what happens in the UK or what happens in other parts of the world. I don't I don't care unless I'm in the Champions League. Then I put the Champions League here as well. Right? So this gives me the news. Plus on top of that, I get statistics. So which is better, do you think? So when I, if I wanted to go in, I mean like, you know, if I go like um, Turkish under 19s, right? So I, I'm, I don't, I mean, I'm, I left Turkey, right? So we can go to Turkey right now. So Turkey has the, uh, this league, right? So I can get, when it'll pop up like this, the news. And I like the news like this because I can always do this. Right? So I can always go and, you know, find youth players. So, I kind of like this method a bit more than the other method, right? I find that that other method is like, there's a lot of information. I, I like to be more specific about what I need. Of course, you can still do it from the other page and you, you get, you get that. But when it comes to realism in the game, this is what a lot of people want. They want the transfers to be realistic. They want the results to be realistic. They want to see that Cristiano Ronaldo scores like 30 goals or some shit like that. Okay, in order for you to get that, then you need to um, play the, you need to simulate those leagues in full. So they have to be playable, right? The pro that is in FM21. The problem in FM21 is that when you turn the other leagues into view only, then it uses the quick match engine and there's a divergence. I mean, I won't say that, what is the word divergence? There's a difference in the way the results are produced because um, it seems that the results in the, Playable leagues are a bit more accurate and the results in the uh, simulated leagues, they're not so realistic. But from what I understand, SI, is, SI knows about this and they want to address it in FM22. We'll have, to, we'll have to see if that's addressed in FM22. But I expect them to be able to address that in FM22. Oh no, we lost one of our defenders. Yeah. For lower leagues, yeah, definitely. I mean, white center... Okay, the problem with the white center back role is this, okay? When you want to use the white center back, on a good, my biggest piece of advice to you guys is just the same way I have... I have the same problem when I use a back three with the uh, ball playing defender set to stay wide out. I have the same issue, which is I whenever I defend against certain teams, um, the center gets ripped apart too easily because um, the defenders are pushing up too high. So there's always this uh, one lone wolf here by himself. So in this tactic, I've got one whole position, one aggressively trying to win the ball here. But this is strikeless, so yeah, it might also help. But what you want, what you need is, um, you need a DM. So if you want to play a white center back in FM22, I would advise you to use the DM. I'll have a guide. I mean that, okay. My white center back guide will come out on the very first day of football manager. Okay. So, um, hopefully it's out. Yeah, okay? uh, hopefully there are no major changes. I have like that short period window to actually play the game and do a guide. So I try and get it out as quickly as I can on the first day or latest the second day of football manager.
All right, we got Joey, Lee, Lima, Vizio, Alastoy. Vizio is supposed to be this position. This position is supposed to be a ball winner, right? So what do we have in terms of ball winners? Okay, we've got we got this guy Hussein Donmez. Why did I sign him? Man, this is things that I do on previous streams and I forget why I do that. <laughs> I haven't played this game since the last stream, so I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing here. Gro I think Groen is supposed to be on this side, right? Yeah, what should we do now? Okay, so we've got Paz. This is very aggressive, man. We're playing Spec Zola. We might lose this game because I have um, being a bit aggressive. Uh, can you use underlaps in 5-3-2 formation to focus attacks on the center? Also playing with, with the center. Well, I wouldn't use underlaps in a 5-3-2. Right, I wouldn't bother with underlaps because an underlap in a 5-3-2 is just going to make... It's just going to be a bit strange, right? So, the reason why... An underlap is just going to aggressively affect his mentality. You can... Then it's, an, it's a mentality modifier, right? So, you just modify his mentality. Because when you do have an underlap, it's uh, supposed to reduce the mentality of this, the player on the wide. Because he, then that player holds up the ball for players that are running inside so you can give them the ball. The problem in FM22 is everybody thought that if he held up the ball, this wingback holds up the ball, right? Uh, or, or a winger holds up the ball, then we'll see the ball playing defender go through. It doesn't work that way. So I would probably not use it. I mean, if you could, I mean, then he will be the one holding up the ball looking for one of these three guys running. You could try it, but it's going to make this role a bit more aggressive. We can play this game and yeah, we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll pop in and underlap. Just show you guys. But I will use it in a 4 3 3. 4 5 1. 3 4. Uh, 3 uh, 3 at the back, 1 DM. 2 3 at the back, 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11. Okay. So it's 3 at the back, 1 DM, right? That's 4, right? 5 6 wing back, wing back. Then uh, 5 6 7 8. Yeah. I think it's possible. You can use it with inverted wingers then. Yeah. You can definitely use it with one wingers. That means your tactic is going to look something like one, two, three. There's one guy here. Then uh, one, two, three. Uh, you got three here. Then you pull this guy into this position. So he protects your white center banks. This guy can go up the flank. Because now he's going up the flank. You got inside forward here, right? So inside forward goes in. The other inside forward goes in. You got forward here, right? So then you can have your your underlaps because then this guy who holds up, he's got a lot of options to give the ball to. He's got this inside force running inside, in, running inside and ahead of him. That's the thing about the underlap. So that's one of the reasons why the underlaps are very the un underlaps seem to like inside forwards a lot. Right? They're like in love with inside forward. Okay, so what do we got? Biko. Oh man, ball. Okay, he's good. You see, that my defenders are a bit wide, but okay, that's good. This is nice. That's why I like to play him is a bit wider, right? The problem when you play him a bit wider is the space opens. Look how wide the two guys are now. See, this is the problem you're going to have in FM22, right? Same principle, same issue. See, no DM. I'm not playing. I'm I'm very aggressive. I'm playing with the ball. I'm I'm being a hero in this tactic. I've got Libero sitting here. This this is a ball. The ball comes out. It comes to this guy. I'm toast, man. So this is something you want to we want to be very careful of when you play with FM twenty uh, FM twenty two. I guarantee you because the the, the 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 engine. I mean, there are going to be improvements to the engine of of that. I'm sure. But you know, I we've we've been playing FM twenty two for so many years. The engine is not going to dramatically change overnight, right? If it does, it's more likely going to do with the fact that SI was SI will and SI will inform us it's a completely rewritten engine from the bottom, and I I doubt Paul Collier is going to do that, <laughs> yeah, because he's the he's the he's the father of the engine. Use a box to box and Mazala, okay. Mazala will support the wing back, but give you an issue in the center. And DM and DLP. Yeah, but I wouldn't use... Uh, you don't need underlaps for a 5 three. You do not need underlaps in a 5 3 2 at all. So don't bother. Yeah, I wouldn't bother with underlaps. The only reason why you would use an underlap is to artificially inf in, uh, you know, create that... Um, let's go further forward. Okay, now we've gotten the goal, right? Let's do the... Let's go and... 
influence these two boys. So we go and underlap, underlap. What's going to happen? Okay, before we do this, right? Yeah, this, this is a strikeless system. So we've got this guy's mentality on positive, right? Maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell him to cross him deep. Okay, uh, take more risk, go direct. Okay, just to annoy me a bit more. Make it more interesting. Okay, so what I've created is hopefully the kind of dude that uh, hits those early. Okay, so he's going to hold up the ball. Now his mentality is 100% higher. Now he's attacking. Okay, so let's see what happens. The problem now is, remember earlier we had that... Um, gap right we had the gap created by our players we might as well watch it i'm we're playing on key highlights because i want the safe to move a lot faster um let's see now we're on extended highlights we're waiting for the first highlight to show us our wingbacks hopefully we see the wingbacks in action yeah if if because the I need to understand why you're going to the detail page, right? If you're going to the detail page to get information, then use it like a screen, use screen flow. Then it appears naturally. You don't have to go searching for it. I mean, then, of course, um, the, the information on that page only is, um, the amount of information you need then, you go and set it in the detail. Then you go and set it in the detail level. So if you want the further news, you go to the detail level. So if you want, um, for example, a lot more... <laughs> Like, you want to watch the games as well, that kind of thing, right? You want to see the games. Then you go into the detail level. Then you add that as your game in the detail level. So it makes it easier. It's all the immersion level that you want, yeah. Personally, I don't even bother. I just I just want results. I only, I'm only interested in statistics. I hardly ever watch matches. Oh, man. What the reign of Falk is wrong with you, man? Florian de Silva. We gave you the penalty. We didn't even say change the penalty taker. You missed it. Okay, but so far, we haven't seen our wingbacks in action, but the one change, now you see, this guy is a bit frustrated. See, when I see this, that 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 highlight, you know, it means that something went wrong on that flank. Probably um, our wingback was too... F that, you see, this is the wingback underlapping effect. Okay, I'll ex you see that. This is the reason why I don't like the wingbacks underlapping. Okay, where's the wing back, right? There's a something called there's a transition event, or maybe that's Lema. Look at Lema, right? I'm gonna pay attention to Lema. Okay, this ball goes up, he wait, you see. Like it affects everything about him. His uh, his mentality, everything to do with that player. But we'll leave it under that for a bit longer. That's you know, it's 45 minutes. But I don't want to lose this game. Okay, okay, okay. Let's give it a few more minutes. And Lema is obviously emerged to work even harder. Okay, second half, we're going to change it back. Right? I'm going to remove underlaps. So I wouldn't... Don't bother with underlaps in a 5 3 2. You're just adding too much risk. You don't need it. Okay. Going to remove that... Um, all this. Just go back to being a regular old-fashioned tactic. Because it, it would make sense that if I want them high up the pitch, I don't want to waste... I don't want them to waste time. Just get that ball in the box quickly, right? That kind of shit. Conte, Whittle, Kassan Viro. Oh boy. Okay, that's nice. It's closing down, but you know, we want to encourage the team. 1-1 one, one isn't a very good result for us. Then now look at his positioning. Because I removed the underlap, right? So his risk tolerance is also not that bad anymore. So this is the risk you take when you apply the underlap, right? The underlap will inflate and look at him now. Oh, he's happier now. Uh, until we can see the goal, probably. We can see the goal, he's probably going to get pissed again. <laughs> see, this is when you play 5-3, when you play these 5-3-2 formations, these 3-4-3 three, three formations, especially with wing backs, you're going to look at the positioning it takes up now. So this is less, it's not as aggressive. It doesn't punch out as early as he did when he was on that um, previous setting, right? So, oh, Groen, come on. You got to read the game a bit better. Joey reads that so well. Lamvier finds, Gro oh, Groen is true. He's going to have a chance. Ah, man, come on, come on. This is good play now. They're playing much better now. Sharon, 
out to the silver, one two buckle my shoe, puts into the box, Vito clears the danger, and there's a chance for a breakaway. Conte leads this Lamer or oh, Lamer. Smart play from Lamer. That is what I like, right? Because that means I got this. Oh man, he's tired. Okay, we we don't want to lose him for the all important away uh against uh what's that team? We're playing we're playing some team called uh I don't know what's the name of the team you're playing. I think Glasgow Rangers. Okay, so we're gonna take him off late as well. I'm gonna give him a break. I'm gonna put Trent Rongel in here. We need them for the match against uh Glasgow Rangers. Joey clears the danger. What a challenge for Groen where Sharon brings it forward. I love it when my strikers do those kind of sliding challenges. Oh, I guess that's a corner. Hey, Mr. Pegasus, how are you, man? Will SI ever let you beta test an FM version? What makes you think they're not already making me beta test? If I can, but the problem is, right, we have these alpha testers, beta testers, but all of the all of them are, you know, under a cone of silence. They can't talk much. They can't say much. It's not, it's not their position to, because, uh, they will all have signed NDAs. So there are a lot of people that are probably testing the game now, including football players, coaches, all playing the game. But because everyone's under an NDA, they can't, they can't see anything. Yeah. I, I, I was in the testing. I've been like, yeah. I mean, I'm a moderator on the forums as well. So yeah. Oh no. Oh, that was a terrible book of PC. Shit, man. We had took we're taking a risk by resting our one our top two wing backs. This was the wing backs fault there. Eh? We brought in we brought on the the two best we decided we want to rest them for the big match against uh Lasco Rangers. This is us collapsing under the heap of uh okay, wait, hold on. We 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 got no choice now. Okay, we got no choice. We're gonna have to go for it. Uh I took off Groen as well. My top striker has also been taken off. Wow, I'm such a genius when it comes to this game, man. I took off my best striker. I'm pushing for the uh equalizer now. The Vizio, the Sharon, the Silver. This is one of my favorite formations, the 3421. Yes, inside the box. I am Mastolohu. <laughs> Why do you think SI have haven't added a set piece coach when they haven't done so much? Now, because the, um, if they do a set piece coach thing, there's going to be as a part of the whole revamp of the set piece creator. They will not add features like a set piece coach. That's like if they have they, they have plans on um, up, um, changing the set piece creator, definitely 100%. They have those plans. But because it's such a massive project, they're not going to add a set piece coach thing now. No way. They, 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 they won't do that. Yeah. It just overcomplicates the process for them. Guys, this is a smash computer moment for me, man. That's it. Almost consider a second goal. All the hints and tips on strike, so much variation and tweaking. Yeah, welcome. So you want to beat a, you want to beat a, okay, basically, if you're playing against a strikeless system, how do you beat a strikeless system? Now, I'm not saying that I always can beat strikeless systems. I'm not suggesting that. Strikeless systems are notoriously difficult to beat because there's this issue with playing against a strikeless system. It's that window, right? Um, there's about a two second window where defenders don't know whether to close the player down or not, kind of shit, okay? Um, <laughs> some strikeless systems are obviously better than others. If you want to create a smashing strikeless system, then I would definitely recommend having a DM. They are the probably the best strikeless systems, right? So I can I can just show you guys one. This I like this because I can play a four three three four two one. That's all three four one two. But if you want to play against a strikeless system, you know, defend against one. Then what you want is a DM based system. One DM based system. Okay, there are two ways of doing it. One is you have a DM and you protect your flanks. Okay. That's the first way. The second way is actually to not defend, to attack. Both ways work. The first way is to use something like a, a system that has got uh, three 
a back five with the DM. And then up top, you have minimum of two strikers. Two strikers and then either two players coming wide or you do what I do, which is, I call this the box native. I have this tactic that I use a lot against other striker systems. Uh, is it here? Yeah, I use this a lot. This is my box system, right? So essentially what happens with the box system is um, you're, you're defending with this guy in the center and then you're just counter-attacking. Now that's one way, but it depends on whether you have the place, right? If you don't have the place, where well, this is actually quite hard to pull off. Finally, the other one is play a 4-2-4. Sounds crazy, right? Play a 4-2-4. But don't play a 4-2-4 that's a PC anti, you know, not attacking 4 2 You want to be direct. You want to have good players that can... You can't beat a... you Whatever it is, you cannot beat a striker system if your players are not good, right? So if you don't have good, decent players, you know, you're not, you're not going to beat it. You're just going to get completely destroyed. Okay, let's see. I've got another one. I'm going to... This is... Uh, I'm going to play another striker system. Um... It's more 4 one, three, two strikers, right? And this is an asymmetric one. Oh, I've got this one as well. Oh, uh, wait. There's one more. Strikers 4 one, four one strikers 4 two, three, one strikers City. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that one. Uh, is this strikers 4 one? No, this is not fun. We can do this one. This is more fun. Okay. I double ball winning midfielders. They got AM here. Then I go Shadow. Shadow. Maybe AP on attack as well can work here. Yeah. Two ball winning midfielders. This guy can be a halfback, can be a DM, doesn't really matter. You just want somebody to be in this pocket. The more aggressive the role is, the more challenging it might get. Then uh, you can go wing back. Against the AI, probably go wing back attack attack. Okay, so you can go shorter. This one. The most important thing in a striker system is this. This is the most important thing. You want to keep the ball. And the, the most important thing you want to have in a striker system is this. Prevention of goalkeeper distribution. Okay. Then you can do other other funky things as well if you're very bold. You can ask these guys to man mark defenders. So they're actually on the shoulders on the defenders. We'll just try this tactic out next game. We might lose. It might be the end of our journey. But then my streams aren't about watch me play and win the game. Never been. It's about a sharing of knowledge, man. Does a halfback drop down to defense when he's between two defenders or does it happen regardless? I tried to use two halfbacks. Oh, no, no, no. If you use two halfbacks, they both don't drop back. A halfback only drops between two central defenders, but only one halfback at a time. The other halfback won't do it. So it's not... So imagine this, right? I think I know what you just done. You just two halfbacks, no defenders, right? And wingbacks. You said, I want the halfbacks to drop deep, right? And sit maybe... I don't know why. You have two defenders. If you, want, you can't get two halfbacks to sit between... Uh, one defender. See, first up, there's only one slot. You look at this, right? There's only one slot. The game is very, very easy to understand. Okay? No player is coming here if somebody's in this slot. Okay? It's a very fundamental game. No player is coming here if there's somebody already sitting in this slot. Okay? This slot was removed courtesy of me and my exploits in FM O304. We used to have a slot here. SI went and removed this slot because they said, okay, it used to be one here, one here, one here, and one here. They have four, two here, and this way. Then they removed that slot because it was felt it was too aggressive, too much of a cheater buck tactic. Yeah, but you can't do that. You what are you what you're talking about can't work. Yeah. Just like can you play with inverter wing? Uh, can I turn this guy into an inverter wing? But of course you can, yeah. But he won't play like one. He won't come inside this pocket, right? Yeah, he might drift centrally, occasionally, because he's got to sit narrower. Because he's paying attention to his PIs. But he won't sit in the pocket and hold the pocket if he's on inverter wing back D. See, there's a difference, right? On support, he might come in because he sits narrow. But on defend duty, he's never going to sit here. He's going to sit here. So that's... Things. So there are certain fundamental things that are part of the game, I guess. The point is, underlaps will focus attacks on the center and box to box and Mazar will stay wider, Pierre will attack the space 
Yeah, overcomplicating the tag thing. You should try and see, Daniel. But I think that's a, a bit of... I mean, it can work because you got underlaps, right? You got your Mazalas going wide, right? So you, your plan is, I know, you, you want those Mazalas to go wide, attacking that space, the tough channels. You want the in, you want those players to play those kind of passes. The only way to find it, find out, and I, I recommend you do this, go to Fantasy Draft, find you who are the players you think are the perfect players who can do that, right? Go to Fantasy Draft, play, play a hot seat game. Choose an AI manager, the formation you think that's going to give you the most problems, right? Do a draft to yourself. Play five matches against the AI. You got you got five matches to find out how your tactic is going to perform. So that's a brilliant way to find out. And so you could actually try it there. Because, uh, because uh, you need to find out whether it can work with a certain group of players eventually, right? So you need to know, okay, I mean, these are the players I think it can work with. You know, what do I do? So that would be my recommendation. So we got him here. We got Lanvi. We got Dr oh my goodness, Dronglin. Isn't Dr wasn't Dronglin the guy who just got us into a world of hurt in the last game? We we'll play with Lanvi. Lanvi is not much of a fullback. Can't cross the ball to save his life. We might turn these guys into wingbacks on support. I don't see the point on getting them to be too aggressive. Uh, we got the silver here. Uh, what happened to my normal superheroes, man? All of them are not ready to play this game. Divizio, no choice, man. I gotta play you. Lema, Lema comes back. Joey, Joey comes here. You come here. You are not much of a ball winner yourself. Alright, we're running out of possible players that can win the ball. You come here. Alright. Where's Landwehr? Landwehr, you, you're okay to win the ball. You got no brain cells in your head that tell you how to work the ball up the pitch, right? But you can win the ball. Okay. So Landwehr, you come here. Divisio, Landwehr, Joey. We don't have any intelligent defenders here. They're all a bunch of uh, jokers. Right? Jumping Richard, no composure. But Biko here, who's definitely not a ball playing defender. I mean, I looked at look at his attributes. He's got no first touch. He's got some first touch. We can't dribble the ball. It's asking <clears throat> asking him to do more than what he's capable of doing. Uh, Don Mas, Hussein, uh, passing anticipation ten. You anticipation thirteen, positioning thirteen. Okay, he can at least win the ball, right? Can't pass the ball. Never mind. If we go down, we go down. In a blaze of glory. Okay. All right. Okay. We'll do the best we can with the uh, jokers that we bring along with us. All right. This is it, man. You can easily make a sweeper. Hey, Emmanuel Yakubu, how are you, man? Any tips on how to do a high intensity press on FM22? We need to get almost two identical to win. One that we give a player break for say 10 minutes and switch back to high press. Okay. So if you're gonna be playing one of those setups where you want to do a gigant pressing style in FM22 and then you want to dial, you want to dial down and you want to dial it up, I guess that's what you want to do, right? Yeah. Okay. So then what you need to do is have your original tactic, then have a second version where you're actually you drop your width, you drop your passing. Uh, and you lower your tempo, right? So you, when you reduce your width, you are bringing your places close. You're bringing your players closer together. When you shorten your passing, you are, you know, naturally, you know, the distances are now shorter. So you're trying your best to work the ball, right? And you don't have to send it over large distances, which your players have to run. And then you lower down your tempo. So these are the things that you can do. What a sliding challenge! That's that's used to be the uh, almost retained possession shot. Right. So that's definitely what I would do in FM22. Which is like, you know, like if I'm playing like this, then I will remove pass into space as well. Basically, the idea is to keep the ball. Like you, what you see Liverpool doing after they began pressing, all of a sudden Liverpool's tempo just drops and all you see them doing is passing the ball around, right? They, you don't see them running like crazy anymore. Yeah. yeah. Something like this. Yeah, this is actually a much better 
strike list type thing because it's got dm right so so we just keep playing like this and you know so i got these two cheating bugs <laughs> these are the two cheater bugs right now see the ball winning midfielder so you see look where, where is he standing this is like here it's like so much further I play a 4 2 3 1 and I can't create any movement in my front three. I have a CF, the rim change the CF to something else. What a goal from Jose! Oh my god, this guy is my former. He used to play in Turkey, man. Oh my lord, what a goal! I'm in awe of this goal. Look at this goal. That I, you can't say much. That's phenomenal finishing. This guy is a legendary goal scorer. He's a le he's a legend. Oh, what a response! They cracked the woodwork. That's got to be a gem of a goal, man. That is a gem of a goal. The problem with Harry, the, the the problem when you play, it's not the player. This is the thing I need y'all to understand. It is not the player. Okay, it is the role. See, the notion that there is a perfect role for the player is garbage, okay? All right, I, I just hate that. I just hate it when people say, you know, it's this player, you should have, you should play him this role. This is the best role for him. That's completely fucking stupid because there's no such thing. It's a, the game is about a combination of roles in your tactic. So what you have created is a roaming guy in front that's drifting around, holding up the ball, doing all kinds of things in front because you have tell, you've told him to do that. That's a complete fault. He's a jack of all trades that does everything because you're depending on him. Now, if your tactic is intricately created for goal scoring and then you, you expect, you need to expect certain things from your striker. If you can't, you got these two inside force running in, why don't you just play a simpler role like a DLF on support? Now, DLF on support is going to just drop deep, lay off passes for the rest of the players around him. Right, then what he does is he's a link up player. But what it sounds, what it's what right now, the impression I get is you want to create a goal scoring CF and a goal scoring IF and a goal scoring IF. That just won't happen because you got IFs and that's a setup. It's not going to work. A winger on the right. If you have a winger on the right driving down, looking to cross the ball, and you've got inside forward coming in, they say, why are you playing a complete forward? You shouldn't be playing a complete. You should be playing a focal point in your tank. And the focal point strikers are the advanced forward, the target man on attack. These are the focal point strikers. They are the ones who are going to get in the box because you're not playing an overcomplicated system. You're playing a winger and inside forward. Inside forward is a dr he's driving into the box looking for goal scoring opportunities. Your winger is looking to try and cross the ball for somebody inside the box. You want to make it even more exciting, then I would go inverted winger on one side who is going to work to look for goal scoring opportunities for his teammates, advance forward, inside forward. Then what you have is an inverted winger with two options to attack the box. Alternatively, you can have an inverted winger on one side and on the opposite flank, you can have a winger and an advance forward. Now what you have is a winger that is going to attack the box on an attack duty, right? When he's not on an attack duty, he's just going to stretch width on that side of the pitch. See, the, the role in the center the, is the combinations that are more important. It's not, this is the best role for that player. There's no such thing in this game. And there are good roles for a player, but what's the point if you can't get the best out of it? I think the worst role in the game is actually complete forward. Because a lot of people think that he should be a complete forward. But the number of people who can make the complete forward work really well, I think there are very few people. Because you're gonna have to make the you're gonna have to make it work so well. It's not easy. Okay, we're gonna roam you, make you roam, make you roam. Okay, I hate to say that. I mean, I I just want I have to be honest. Okay, we're gonna pass into space, hit the early cross, drop this, get a dribble less, counter press, pull it out. <clears throat> He's on a yellow card. Do I bring this guy on? I think I will. 52 minutes, we can wait for a couple of minutes, right? How's his performance right now? 6.4, no difference. We bring him, take him off now. 
in danger of being booked by needy on the pitch, man. Okay. Whenever I think I know everything about FM, I tune into your show for fines. I realize that after 20 years of playing the game, I still know nothing. Thanks, Rick. Hey, no worries, man. I would I would avoid playing com uh, okay when is a complete forward a very good rule when you don't have a very over complicated tactic like for example right I played a winger and inside okay I play winger inverted winger complete forward and attack simple setup right a direct uh, stand, uh, mixed passing um, and direct tempo that tactic is now a very simple 4 2 three, one. it just works the ball very good no play out of defense zero play our defense uh defensive line standard um standard defensive line or maybe high much standard to higher defensive line and she 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 got the jose is tearing us apart man. aggregate score yeah jose is just brilliant today man. he's just unbelievable gotta 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 say this much about him he's playing such a good game he turned my defenders around i mean um yeah so you can if you play, you want to play a complete four don't play a tactic that's got a lot uh, make it simple try my best man I just don't, yeah. Even people struggle in fantasy draft to get Harry Kane working. And I noticed that the only people who get Harry Kane working are those guys that are not playing a very simple, uh, who are playing a simple game. Like, right, they, they just get the ball up the pitch really quickly and they get, the, then you see Harry Kane really doing well. Or you put Harry Kane in a system, because if not, what's going to happen in your 4 2 3 1 is you're going to get Harry Kane dropping off all over the place unless you are out to replicate Tottenham Hotspur. Then I can't really help you because, yeah, man, that's like a different team. No one wants to replicate. Ah, oh, this guy is. Oh my god, I love this. I mean, I don't know whether to be angry or to be in awe. I actually had a save where I managed him. I don't know, Zach. I was very sad to let him go because he was just burying all the goals, man. The guy is such a good striker. Oh man, they've taken him off. No, they haven't. He's still, he's still on the pitch. I'm just getting torn another hole here. This was like, you know, there he is. He's waiting to score another goal. There you go. There you go. He's just winning everything. Oh, look at that. I mean, my players are like, okay, we can't, we are trying to roll it out, right? And then we're trying to hit them through the lines, but they are playing quite well. Yeah, there's no finishing in my team. They're getting into the box, but they're just not finishing. There's two on target only. Ah, one of those bad games. Groen, I think, just, you know, he's having this, uh, he's having a period. <laughs> Gotta take him off, man. My, uh, my tactic is so heavily dependent on him, right? If he doesn't show up, I'm screwed. Have you noticed there are not a lot of tactics from the AI as well that feature complete forward? Have you ever asked yourself why? Oh, finally, Saruko comes in. Oh, even he. Yeah, we just need one of them to find the back of the net. It's not like we're not creating. We are. Just the back of the net seems to elude our players today. Just brilliant finishing from Jose. It's a hat trick from him. Ah, si la vi. I think I know what. I think I want to modify this tactic. Oh, shit. I think I want to modify this tactic slightly. 
slightly. I think we could have we could have done a better job. I just noticed one thing: those wing backs, right? Because we haven't played with this tactic in age. Maybe I don't know. We haven't played this tactic in ages. We're gonna shoot less often, sit narrower. Uh, let a few risks, okay. We gotta take fewer risks and shorter passing. Because I noticed that these boys are just, you know, pinging them over the top. Even though we set it out like that. Okay, alright, we're gonna do this next game. Send the assistant because we don't do press conferences. Okay, uh, Rashidi Kolina. Have I, have I transfer listed this guy? No. Uh, they want him on a transfer. I think his contract is coming to an end. 2031. No, we still got three years. It's 20 years old. Mm, no, forget it. <laughs> we we have to put we have to put in place a system. I keep I, one of these days we'll have one tactic. <laughs> one of these days I'll use one tactic for an entire season. All right, guys. Okay. I would have to learn how to ignore all the requests about tactics and what they do. I have to ignore that. What's that? The next one, Baston, right? This guy is so good. I I have him in one of my saves. This guy just, just keeps, like, you know, dump. It's just unbelievable. Nice niece in offer for Diallo. Oh, this guy. Yeah, 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 you can go. You can go. You can go. We accept any offer. I don't care about all this. We just go. <laughs> Make some money from this guy. I guess he's he's he doesn't want to extend his contract. Okay. Uh and um I shoved him into the under 18s. Lease in offer for Nesto Grun. Now this is interesting, right? All right. On a scale of one to ten, he's not that bad. I mean, he's our he's our leading goal scorer at the moment with eight goals in eight appearances. Okay. Um, the thing about him is his value is about fifteen, and then they are they are coming in with an offer of eighteen point seven five, which is this this is not that bad, right? Question is, do I want to sell him? If I sell him, I can probably go out there and get a bunch of other strikers. But let's see if we can push this a bit more. He wants to go to Villarreal. Okay, that means I can afford to jack this up to about maybe 30. Okay. 30 million installments. We got a percentage of... Uh, we lock this and we delete it. I don't know, somebody told me it works that way. I'm like, okay, fine, you know, whatever. I don't even know if it works properly that way. 33 million. I think 33 million would be fair enough, right? Yeah, let's, just, let's get let's get greedy. Since this is an English club. English clubs we should, you know, get greedier. Yeah, they are rolling in dough. Okay. They want they want him, they don't have to pay for him, man. Don't load Rashidi out. No, yeah. Don't load Rashidi out. <laughs> So only Rashidi in the team, right? We sold the last Rashidi in the team because it's useless. It was me. My Nugent. Yeah. The next thing I do next season as well is I play a long-term save and then I, I can't remember how the others did it. I think they said you you can't load in, um they can't I can't load England because I'm in Eng I, I end up as an English uh, Nugent so I can't load him. But if you want um Rashidi to my Nugent to be really good, right? I think that was the way they did it. I'll have to find out. Because I always end up with, I always play with England, right? So loaded, and it turns out that it was, it was complete trash. And this is this is my Nugent, I think. There we go. There we go. Singaporean. Very eight seniors. So career stats. Tampines Young Lions. Kelang International. So far, nobody's even interested in him. Profile. Um no. information we have on him. There we go. Place of birth, Liverpool, England. Okay. And uh 
It's supposed to be a full bike, but you know, I just looking at this these ranges, I know it's he's terrible, man. I wouldn't waste my time. Normally, he will he will pop into the game and if you so far I've seen uh, a few saves where he's in the game. And I go like, oh my god, I want to manage him. We got one save here from Atalanta, right? Where I play for a, another Spanish team, and it's a he's a world class English player there. Okay, so now we just go on holiday to the next match. You can find other players again. I uh, get uh, definitely a planning to get Rashidi in FM22 yeah, because I already announced my save. I'm going to be going to Borussia Mönchengladbach in Germany. There's reason. For reasons I can't tell you just yet. Alright, so uh, I'm gonna be managing Borussia Mönchengladbach in um, uh, Bundesliga. That's my FM22 safe. And um and I won't load England. I load every other league, but I won't load England. Uh, as playable, maybe view only. Yeah, maybe view only. And then uh, if we need to load them, we'll load them later as playable. Yeah. So I'll, I'll load all the other leagues and make England view only. Right? That should work, right? I think it should work. Does it matter actually? It doesn't matter. We'll just, we'll just, we'll see what happens. Joey looks, Joey looks good. We've had offers with Joey from a few clubs. We managed to hold on to him. Joey so far doesn't seem to want to leave the club. So that's good news. I had that problem in Turkey. He wanted to leave for a, he wanted to leave for a bigger club. So we had that issue trying to keep him in the Turkish club. And then, um, but I don't think any club is going to make a big offer. But we, we had one um, offer from a... I think a, a, a team in England earlier this season, I said no. But he didn't get upset, so good. Any tips on mentoring your place in such a way that you don't pick up a play? No, you can't. You can't do that, man. John, the, <laughs> the game, whether you like it or not, they'll pick up traits. There's a thing about osmosis in the game, right? So even if the, you're not mentoring them, they could pick up traits. So you're better off, like, you know, for the for the top prospects, making sure that they're in a mentoring group that has got strong personality, just keep them there. That's it. Other than that. Yeah, can you go to Gen? Yes, Gen I want Say bye-bye. Bye. Okay, now can you go? Close the door behind you. Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. Yeah, that was my son. Yeah, so he popped into the room because he wants to, you know, that's when the kids go like, Daddy, we're going to do something with you. So mentoring, if I were you, pick the best players, put them in a, put them in a mentoring group and just leave them in that mentoring group. Right, you want to avoid having uh, osmosis effects. Sometimes they just pick up uh, bad. Man, oh my goodness, this Europa Cup group, uh, we we could have problems, right? We already lost to. I think we haven't done well in the Europa Cup. So okay, we just change this. We're gonna play next game. Just rotate, auto select. I didn't. I don't even know whether they're gonna. It's gonna work. Good reason to play a new gens in the lower leagues. Yeah. One more question: If a player has tackle harder trait and then select easy. Ease off tackles. Will this have an effect or not? Just prevent second yellow card. Well, it can have. Uh, yeah, because uh, if he has a tackle harder trait, and then you select easy. Ta okay, tackle harder is a is a tendency, not a rule that he always does it. There's a likelihood that sometimes he'll tackle harder. That's all. It doesn't mean that if you use the trait, he's not go he's not going to do it or ease off tackles. Um, 
from what I understand, for the trade itself, that's how trades work, right? It's a tendency to do something. However, we, if you put ease off tackles on him, there's a chance that he will hope he won't tackle hard as much. Uh, that, that's the best way for me to say it. But he will still tackle hard once in a while. You can't run away from it. Yeah. But it won't be as bad as uh, if you had it on tackle harder. If you have it tackle harder, then, I, then what you're doing is I would recommend what you're doing as a solution. Okay, so far. All right, that's not good. Mehalem is away. Ooh. What a cross, man. A DM, DLP. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't want AP. We don't want AP. We do not want an AP here. We want an AM. Um, do you mentor based? You have to mentor based on units. Okay, I don't mentor based on positions. Like, you know, some people say, mentor all the fullbacks together. No, I don't. Then I, and then I really, I'm going to be very worried about traits. Or, you know, I don't want everybody to start learning the same traits because I'm very against, you know, I'm very careful about my traits. Like, for example, um, I don't like everybody learning killer balls. Okay, thank you very much. But it's not a trait I give every single player in the team. Doesn't mean that everybody's going to play you the killer ball. There's a tendency to take risks with passing. That's what Killer Ball does, right? So I don't need that trait. I only need one player to have that trait or two at most. So I don't mentor. I mentor based on units and personality. So, so I'm looking at players with the same, like if I, the only reason why I mentor a player is to get a better personality. That's it. So then I just make sure that he's uh, in the correct unit. So defenders are in the defending unit yeah, or DM. But you don't mentor a goalkeeper with... Uh, what is it? You don't mentor a goalkeeper with uh, a defender, for example. You're not in the same unit. Yeah. My son is cute. Yeah, he is. He's, he's, he's insanely adorable. And they are like... They are very, they're very naughty. You haven't seen the youngest one. The youngest one is worse. The youngest one is extremely adorable. He's everybody's favorite. He's like everyone's favorite. <laughs> and he knows it. So he gets away with murder. And he's and he has this really cynical laugh when he does something intentionally to um to you no, know, he does something intentionally to like the grandma. He goes, <laughs> he's got a cynical laugh. So I'm like going, where the hell did he get that from? <laughs> so he does, he plays tricks on people. So I, he's like, my wife said the older one is much like her. The youngest, the younger one is apparently my carbon copy. Because uh, the older one has got problems with food. He's very selective with food, right? So he doesn't eat everything. That's just like the mother. Because I'm like a garbage can. I'll eat everything except for monkey's brains and um, prawns and seafood because I'm allergic to seafood. Yeah, but I'm not allergic to monkey's brains, just things disgusting. Um, I, yeah, I mean, we don't eat monkey's brains here. It's just that I just thought I'd say it for some stupid reason. And um, yeah, but the youngest one, man, he's just like me, man. He'll do curry, he'll do chilies. Um, yeah, he, he, he eats fruits like there's no tomorrow. Um, if there are bananas in the house, the bananas all finish in like a day. Because both of us are, we love bananas, right? So both of us sitting around eating bananas. And the, you know, yeah. So fruits is a fruit monster, just like the old man. The old man is, you You cannot have any fruits beside me. I'll just finish all of them. What a go from the silver. We needed this, man. So we made a few tweaks, right? So let's save this, right? So we don't have to do it again. This is a, not a 4141. This is a strikeless. I don't know what I'm going to call this. Four, three, three, four, three, three. DM SS. Okay. All right. At least I understand what it is. All right. DMD. Uh, this guy is uh, got a yellow card. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this guy in. Let Joey take a break. Have a Kit Kat. What's the difference between AP and AM? Attacking playmaker. 
first up is the PIs. You know, you can always tell um, a customized, uh, a hard coded role with from the PIs. So you take a look at the PIs first, right? So the PIs got um, risky passes. I think it's got dribble more, right? So that's the AP. That's the first thing. The second thing about the difference between an AP and an AM is AM is uh, got uh, is a generic role, right? So it plays to the attributes of the player a bit more than an AP because the AP what will happen is um, the ball will will be played to the playmaker a lot more frequently than other players. What in the world is going on, man? That is such a soft goal to concede. That is so soft. When you say my bloody keeper is teleporting now. That is such a soft goal to concede. Because it's just like yesterday's um yesterday's uh whatchamacallit? Uh the the game I was playing yesterday, um the playoffs, right? I had the same problem in the playoffs. My players were just performing so badly. Um, they were making all kinds of like fundamental errors in defense. One, one, goal, one attack, one goal. Man, but we're also playing badly because what have we done? We haven't done very much in terms of uh, goal scoring, right? So we just have to look at that. It's not like we are playing well. Unless I've got this theory, the SI sometimes makes changes with us without us knowing it. I've got this. I've this sneaky suspicion right sometimes they make changes while i'm asleep to the engine because that's this is like this conspiracy theory they must have done something while i was asleep Jeez, it was working yesterday but it's not working anymore no, it's not it's bad bad luck okay that's you're doing what i expect you to do now you're playing the way i expected you to do Guys, ride the death, man. Okay. So this is what you do, right? So bang, bang. Okay, FM22. This is exactly what you do. If you have a gain pressing system, this is what you do. You want to wind down the clock, right? Passing director shorter. Passing, you can actually do it the standard, so you, you, you move the ball around a lot more, unless a team is, you know, they want to close you down. The work ball into box is very situational. Now, if you're very good at keeping the ball, you might want to think about this, okay? But the danger of doing this is you pull your whole team up the pitch, right? So if you're playing with a much higher line of engagement, that kind of stuff, then you could be in trouble. So i probably leave this off. Standard, much higher line of engagement is fine, okay? All right. Oh, oh, shish kebabs. There's something I forgot to do. I have to wait for the next change. Okay, good. In transition, out of possession, do this. Now you're telling your team, okay, fine, you know, along the way, by the way, try and make sure that we can tackle them. Don't give up the flank so easily. So we're wasting the clock, running down the clock, trying to keep the ball. Should be enough. No highlight is good news. Yeah, done it. How do you know that your how will you know that your team is doing okay in terms of their you see this intensity this is crazy right so what i just did just now I'll just watch the changes right watch this bar watch this bar come down right okay yeah then you got this and then you can drop your mentality down positive okay where else what else can i do yeah this is about it but i'm playing on such a white mentality the intensity is very high Oh yeah, this one. There we go. See the, the effect of this, but this counter press and regroup. Right. So if you if you uncheck counter press, right, you say maybe we do it once in a while. No, if you want to go and have that have that setting where you want your boys to take a breather, this is what you do. So you regroup. This is uh your regroup settings. Then you draw your tempo. And you see I meant this is this you want the bar to look something like this. This is uh when you if for fm22 this is what you're going to be doing so if you've got a gigant pressing tactic and you go like okay fine you know i want to 
you can even drop this you don't have the time wasting is just something that you would do in the last 10 minutes right but you can still see maintain see what the effect of time wasting is more just brings you this color you can drop it onto this still okay your intensity is still fine your voice will be fine right you want this to drop even more than you're talking about dropping mentality but the effect is not going to be that fantastic there's no there's no point doing this you see unless you're going to go defensive then everybody's behind the ball right but you have to also look at this your team fluidity your team fluidity inf influences the um what you might call it the, the number of players going up and down the kind of thing Okay, so we got strikers, 4-1-4, four, four. We, we, we got a new one, there we go. No, 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 no! It doesn't come in here until I load it, right in the middle of the game. Strikeless, was it? Was it? Strikeless? 4-3-3 three, three DM, there we go. This is the tag thing, okay. Oh, luckily, man. I managed to win the game. Ah, man, I play like, uh, well... I was very unlucky in a lot of these games. I gave up a penalty in every single game. I finished last in the table. I won the, I won one game and lost the rest. It was just um, bad luck, drama. So in a lot of the games, in one of the games, I think it was against Rampart. Um, it's two deflected goals. Like I was like, what can I do, right? And we would, we would decide, doing all the pressure doing playing well and then you know bad luck and, so I just, and then giving up penalties for no reason so in the end of the day i just went like okay what else can we do like, you know so I, I just did off the dumb luck shit happens so say la vie game play so i was a bit disappointed but never mind it's okay I made a I made one drafting mistake yesterday. Actually, it was a big one as well. Yeah, I should have. I should. I'm probably gonna have a diff. I'm probably gonna avoid. I ended up with uh, what's his name, uh, Lewandowski, only because strikers were all gone. But I should have gone with. Um, I should have gone to pick my defenders earlier. I didn't pick my defenders first. But even players like Jack, Goofy Joe, right? Goofy Joe is such a good team. I was surprised he did. He underperformed. He had very good defense, very good team all around us. Like I was very impressed with this team. My team had um, Joel Matip and uh, who was good, who is a good defender, and my second defender behind him was Palomino. Now I wouldn't usually do that, but those were the only two decent defenders by the time I got to my defenders only ones available so yeah well next time lesson learned we shall play differently okay Lema comes okay Lema can play midfield or there right so that's a good thing about Lema we got Colina Colina I think I'm gonna play Colina here now okay let's try him out a Hellstone as well a Thompson we're gonna be, we're training him to we're actually training him as a defensive winger because i've got two several tactics right i got this one as well so in this one i got red one hefty and lambia joey biko look then i can i can switch to this wait hold on i can switch to this i can switch to this holy guacamole guys check this out Hey, let's let's do something funky here, right? This is all one team, one tactic. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce you to the funkiness that is me? First, we can play a 3-4-1-2. Let's switch, guys. Boom, to a strikeless 3-4-3. Three, <laughs> three. Oh, no, no, no. We have to defend against the DM. Boom. All right, guys, let's do this. Here we go. We're playing Marseille next. Against Marseille, we think they got strong. They got a, they got a strong flank attack. Da -dun, da -dun. Puppy power. <laughs> don't, don't ask me where all this shit is coming from, guys. Okay, you have the Lema. Red one divisio. He can play as a ball winning midfielder. Joey Biko. Biko is a I think the mistake with Biko is his um his right footed. Hey, left footed, so he can't really play here. We're gonna play him instead. Okay. Got late. We need I, I'm not sure if late can play. I don't think he can. 
we just try it out let's try what oh, you can so we got helston defender alastoe saruko biko mina late all right i guess i guess that's that that should be the team uh do we have any yeah we got one dm but he's not a dm he's like more like an mc uh wannabe dm i have three players in my first 11 at killer ball so <laughs> Emmanuel Yakubu, you have three players in your 11 that have killer balls and long range passes. Man, you should have one player <laughs> with killer balls. Long range passes, you, should, you can't have them on either side, right? But yeah, man, that's way too many. Too many. Uh, usually I have one player. I usually have one player with killer balls and maybe two players with long range passes. Yeah, but I would never have more than, I wouldn't have three players with all of that, man. That's, that's just too much. You'll lose the ball. So if you're doing that, then never play pass into space. It's something you don't ever do. Because you've got the players who can do that. So I wouldn't play pass into space ever. Because your players can do pass into space as a, as a you know, as a, as a, some, because of their traits, right? They will be able to do that anyway. So I wouldn't bother. Okay, so let's slow down the speed. Let's uh, one cup. Yep, yeah, okay. Let's go, boys. Let's encourage the boys. They do quite well. Oh, Rice Reel gave her a red one. Oh, Groen, come on, man. You, what? Are you interested in leaving for England already? Man, the clubs haven't made a really good offer for you. Gro what a pass of Groen <laughs> Holy cow, that was one hell of a pass. We are playing away. Right? I went for my DM base system. It's, all, it's funny, funny things happening to the screen. What's going on? Okay, we're putting all that pressure. I like this, playing a 4 2 3 one, playing this striker system. Because these three are coming in between these two. Yeah. <laughs> Creating all kinds of havoc. But I have to worry about those uh those uh what you call it? They are wingers, right? So if they can do this, I'm in trouble. That's all. That's the thing I'm worried about. Still they are a strong team. Mm, but yeah. See this guy coming in a mark. I wasn't unmarked. Braithwaite some more. Man, I, I seem to recall these names from another safe. I've seen Braithwaite somewhere before. Everton player. Isn't he an Everton player? Oh my goodness, that's a very good second goal. Isn't he an Everton player? Isn't that Braithwaite from Everton? I think so. It's James Madison, Origi. They got... And Braithwaite. I think they got Braithwaite from Everton. This guy. Branthwaite. No, is that Branthwaite? Let's see. This is the guy from Everton, Branthwaite. Right, career size. Yeah, he's an Evertonian. Yeah, he's from Everton, correct. 21, he's in Everton right now. Then he goes to Reading, goes to Leeds, Sheffield United, Stuttgart, goes back to Everton. Basically, Everton so, bought him for 750. They lo he's been on loan, on loan, and goes to Marseille for 3.6 million. What a waste, man. This guy is actually quite good. He's actually, he's pretty decent. It's a pretty decent Evertonian. I'm so stunned, right, that the AI would do that without developing him. I, mean, I would, I would actually use him. He's not that bad. I'm more interested in Braith. The defender than trying to come back from this defeat. Okay, all right, let's try and do something. Okay, so they've got that. They got no one, and we'll just switch to something like this. Let's go for it, man. But nothing to lose, right? No point being strikers. Strikers is essentially a defensive system. You can't create chances with it. You might as well just go attacking. Waiting for a strikers system to magically give goals to you is not going to happen. You have to take the you have to take the game to the AI. Oh, that was good movement, except this idiot couldn't read the play. Colina. <laughs> All that movement was sweet, right? Colina just didn't see it. He was like, hey, in dreamland. Look at P2. Look at James Madison. Oh, no, he's in the box. What a challenge for Lema. I thought he was going to get sent off. Lema to De Silva. De Silva takes everyone on. He's going. He's saying, give me the goal. He puts one into the back of the net. Yeah, boys. Yeah, there's no point being strikers if you're a goal down. 
Just go on the front foot. The silver Colina is here. I think we made a mistake of giving Colina. Wait, why the hell is he wearing number 10? <laughs> we, have a, we have a play in our team who wears number 10, but I never use him. This just goes to show you the amount of affection I have for the number 10, or jersey numbers in particular. All right, we've got a Groen. We've got the silver. Okay, Colina. All right. The problem right now is this setup. Da Silva is not really a striker, right? So pull him here. Polina is uh, 11. He's just as bad. So we're going to take him off. We might as well go with a strike force. The Joan Mina, who's pretty fast. Uh, passing vision decisions, doesn't have the strength. Comes deep to get the ball. So he might end up in these positions, which kind of, is kind of a good idea. You got Johan Mina, he's 13, 15. Doesn't have much strength. Hey, that's Johan Mina, idiot. Okay. With Saruko. Saruko, no, 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 no. We can't go with Saruko. We gotta go with Mina. Okay, good. It's the same old duo that does well. No more rotations, man. Okay, come on. Oh no, they've gone white. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh man. Oh man, that's just stupid. I found the AMs on attack in my world just start behaving like I mentioned. Yeah, they do. They don't always bear each other, but I love the movement. Uh, same here. Because it, it, whenever you play a generic role, the role itself, you see, when you play a generic role, some people go like, you know, you have to choose a role. Actually, you don't. Idiot. We are the idiots in this game, right? I was supposed to do it this way. Now, you might think that these are like, so what, you know, you're a gold art. The thing is, the game is an engine that does mathematical calculations of your ability your the possibility that you will win based on the players in those positions right so so this is not optimum right earlier the one i had this is a lot more optimum so he's an ama he's sitting in that position what does he do what does he bring to the table plays one twos on oh, that is exciting in the ama position right he likes to switch ball twice that's not you know he, in that position he might go to the if he gets a bit deeper in the transition, he'll give it to the wing backs, which is kind of cool. All right. His passing is 16. Vision is 16. Decisions is 14. Flare is 15. This guy can unlock a defense on his own. He has the ability to play that pass. So he has to be, when he is an AM, he will play to those attributes that you see. He can dribble. So this is very good. He can, because these numbers are all top tier numbers. No? You can expect like some of the best players in the world to have these numbers. Right. The only thing is his concentration is not very good. So, you know, on the sometimes you'll miss a couple of things along the way. You know, you may not see the whole you might not see play develop around him. Okay, you know, that is things that you, you have to accept, you know, once in a while. Okay. This guy have the oh, we can't make too many changes. I mean I could push Joey up here, but Joey is still learning how to be a tackling player. Look at that man, Joey. Joey is the all time player that is going to follow us all over the world. What's your opinion of a 4 2 4 with 2 DM to attack him in the first one being on the ball? Uh, yeah, it can still work. Yeah, it might be a bit deep sometimes. You might might play like, oh, that was close. Um, you might have to do an offset, right? Sometimes it could be too deep, right? That It could be too deep. Well, the reason is because you're playing 4 2 4. Those two DMs will have to carry the ball, right? Otherwise, you have to find players who can play the long pass. Problem is, the white argument who holds up the ball, he needs a role that is going to come and take it from him. Or at least he has to have a very good pass on him, right? So if your white argument was somebody like Pierre Elmerick or Obama Young, and then you he can play on his own because he can pass the ball too. He can cross the ball. So that's not too bad. But what if your white argument can't do that? Then you struggle. Then he struggles to give the ball. You give the ball away instead. That will happen if you play with two DMs so deep. So if you don't have that kind of white argument and you're, you're hoping that he can lay off the pass to someone, that's when you have to look at the role in one of the roles in midfield being a support duty. So that at least he can come up and give him a hand and pick up the ball. Then you play an offset. One a DM and one a central midfield. That's it. Man. Red one is just playing badly. That's it. He's got a yellow. This kind of tactics, right? Once a, you get a yellow card on site and cheat one. Should I play with uh, white midfielders? No. I, I think defensive wingers are very underrated. They can be very, very solid roles in the game. Can, I can even... I mean, this is a defensive winger. Right. I can... 
for all this. I mean, I, I disagree. I think it's a bad thing to allow us to have roles, especially roles that can, you know, do this kind of um, aggressive play. Because if, uh, if in FM22 I have a defensive winger that can do that, then why uh, the white center backs will become a cheat code? Yeah. Because what will happen is you got a player here providing protection high up the pitch. So the white center back just keeps the ball, right? So you got another role to support him. So this guy is his protection. He's winning the ball high up the pitch. So this white center back, all he has to do is ping one ball. All he need is one player here. And one attacking duty here, shadow strike here. This white center back is going to be glorious, man. We just got crosses in the middle. You're going to create a lot of phenomenal tactics. With this defensive wing, there's another rule to watch out for. Um, I'm hoping SI fix this. Yeah, I'm really hoping they do. Because there's a, pot there's a potential to turn them into a kind of a, you know, very nasty role. The problem is then how do I do this, right? So I want to do this right now. So what we do is we turn this to ball playing defenders. Let's just experiment with this, right? Okay, this guy can't this guy can't be a libero. Maybe he can be a libero, but then if a libero is higher up the pitch, we want him to deliver some dangerous boss. Uh we want him to deliver some dangerous passes. Um this guy is cross getting further forward. This guy is getting further forward. Okay. So you get these guys winning, winning. This guy comes into this pocket. This guy's holding position. This guy's winning the ball very high up the pitch. Uh also doing the same shit. Okay. So this is very aggressive. So we got all these guys trying to win hassle defenders here. And then we got these guys doing all the passes. Okay. Might work. Now in that case, we don't need you to be on support. We just need you to be uh, staying in the box a bit more. Pressing for on support, okay. Right. Let's see. Oi. Go, go, go. Hit the bug. Hit the bug. Oh man, we almost got an equalizer. <laughs> it's a cheetah bug formation. I call this cheetah bug. It's like cheetah bug, man. Cheat. <laughs> so it's like a cheat tactic, right? Then they got another one is the cheat. The other cheat tactic is when you play um and you do this, right? Okay, this is this is another one, okay. Okay, now we turn this guy into... Same, we do the same shit, okay. But now we don't want ball when you make first. We want Segundos. Segundos are perfect for this. This is another cheat code. Okay. You get further forward, move into channels. Uh, do I need you to take more risk? Uh, take more. Okay. I uh, don't no, we don't need him taking more risk. That's a bit much. Okay, we remove the take more risk. We'll, we'll put somebody beside him. Who's gonna be the risk taker? DRP on support. Okay. Now we just need you two to form a kind of a thing here. Or you can just go strikeless as well. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh you're pushing up, you're pushing up, you're pushing up to whatever. Since everyone's pushing up. Okay, we've got you playing the direct pass. Okay. I know we just we, we just put one strong joker here. AP. AM attack and then you you two just attack attack the lines you can pass into space uh standard yeah this is fine okay you got just as long as you get out of this area will be fine okay so look at that you can do this kind of pressing okay this three is at the best pass into space we don't need pass into space now okay all right I mean, something like this right this is another cheat yeah okay? because you can do all this oops Alright, when he moves into the chance, he'll come here, he's gonna support this Joker. So this Joker goes on attack. This Joker goes on attack. That's it. Boom, 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 boom. Holding position up to here. So what do you get? You get this in transition.
False goalkeeper, false most. Mm-hmm. If a CD has bad, there's a young centre back called Brantwaite, right? Yeah, I think so. I think there's a young centre back. This he sounds like the Evertonian, right? I thought thought as much. He sounds like the Evertonian. Yeah. It's not like I don't don't play with Everton. I have see the number of saves I play. Okay, all right. We're not gonna do that. I think that one is a. I I don't play with that tactic. It's a bit of a cheat. Uh, Lord, you see, we have enough cheat tactics right now. Okay, so we just play with these cheat tactics. Okay, load. load. The problem is, I why I call them cheat tactics is because I can. Okay, um, yeah, I I can influence the defensive wingers. They're not supposed to be like playing that way, right? So high up the pitch. Then you can have like. A natural defensive setups as well. Yeah. Because I remembered when SI designed the role, they spoke about it at length, uh, what their version of the Segundo Volante was, or the, what the version of the ball winning midfielder was. But I certainly don't think they expected the role to play in that way. Yeah, because then the ball winner becomes a super ball winner. It's like too big. And then all you need is some all you need is somebody holding position behind him. And you you're, you're sorted. But this guy running all over the pitch, creating all kinds of trouble in the opposition turn. Yeah, so Colina, no, thank you, Colina, you got injured, so we don't need you anymore. We will just go with Saruko, wherever you are. I think this guy's acceleration is very low. His aggression is uh, this. I wouldn't play him as a. I probably wouldn't use this guy as a. Um, as a pressing forward because you certainly need some aggression. Um, for that role. Some roles you just need the tr- the attributes. Uh, where's Mina? I thought we had a Mina. I thought we had a Mina. Johan Mina, where are you? Okay, come on. We can't find them. We simplify the list. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay. Overlapping tea lady. Yes, he's wrong. What is overlapping tea lady? I don't understand. Andy, how are you, man? You want a false goalkeeper for a new role? John, if a CD has balanced agility, if a central defender has balanced agility anticipation greater than 15, it's going to return. Would this compensate for low acceleration pay? No. No. It won't. It would. It won't. You still need... You still need... Uh, you still need um you still would need um what's that thing called positioning yeah you still need positioning I mean, he wants a lot of money man this guy let's give his agent a bribe Can we give the agent a bigger bribe? I can't give you that kind of money unless I adjust the budget all the way, man. Boom. Even the bot won't get, won't, eh? the bot won't give me the. That's it. That's it. We're reaching a point where we won't be able to keep Joey for much longer. Uh, I've got to talk to the bot about increasing the wage budget. Mass DLP ball when you may feel the wing back attacking. Inverter winger. This this is this is uh this is a setup where this guy looks to release Martins, this guy release looks to release Martins, and Mazala comes in to support this creative side. So which side should I be more worried about? This side might come in to score goals. This is nice, man. Let's see what happens, right? I might this is a very interesting match. We could lose big time here. But we wanna see. We wanna see how we do. Bribes make the world... I'm just being daft. Bribes make the world go around. Yeah, man. What, you thought you've been to Newcastle lately, have you? I'm sure that... I'm sure that... Um, I'm sure there's more to the story that meets the eye about how Newcastle... It was suddenly... We have a complete um, switcheroo by the Premier League, Right? When there was this written 
um, all the players, the clubs all said no to the deal. And then suddenly, all of a sudden, now we have a situation where, hey, there's been a change of heart. Why has that happened? It's all bullshit, man, at the end of the day. Money, money rules the world. Rowan, ah, man, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's a good one. Look at that, man. Encourage the team again. Okay. That was quick. Chola with a hit. Oi. Okay, we have to slow this down, right? At least you guys are not seeing much of a game. You're seeing a lot of super fast highlights. I'm a Newcastle fan. There's a lot more to this story. I hope the, I hope you can enlighten us, man, John Football, man. How do Newcastle fan? I mean, I be, I'm, I'm sure as a Newcastle fan, you're probably excited that your club can. What a goal from Divisio. Holy cow. I think he meant it as a cross and he ended up in the back of the net. I'll take it anyway he comes, man. I know. He's been a, he's been trying to sell it for years. Don't get me wrong. I think he has really every Newcastle. Everybody here is in your camp, man. We know that everyone's been waiting for Mike Ashley. <laughs> that's what I call him. To sell the club, right? For the better, for the... Um, he's been wanting to find the right owners for the club, right? So... Oh man. Come on. But what ooh, good. Come on. Oh shit. But were they the were they the right ones? Or were they the only ones? But the question is how why was there such a turnaround with the Premier League? Like all the clubs, like you know. How did it suddenly go from Nobody won? I mean it was not a very popular choice to them suddenly going, okay, fine. Let's welcome uh, these new owners of Newcastle. I can't imagine it being a popular decision as well, right? Like having in Premier League, where the court case where they would have to release the email showing they were potentially corrupt. Yeah, I agree. By caving in, right? I believe that the Premier League is corrupt. I believe that money rules the world there. Uh, much like it does everywhere else. You know. I mean, if anybody ever tells me football is not corrupt, I'm going to laugh at them so hard. <laughs> okay, so far, so good. Um, we're doing, putting a lot of pressure on these two guys. They can't even create very much, man, half time. Let's look at the... They're playing quite well. Um, we have to wait. See, six point seven. Okay, six point seven is still okay. But this guy, our DLP, because he scored the goal, and so this guy is up in the other half. Okay, this is the only thing I'm worried about. This kind of set pieces, right? Where they playing for much higher up the pitch. And we're playing on key highlights. We got no chance to. Oof! Damn it! That was such an easy goal. Yeah, okay, you know what's the problem with that? I'll tell you what. You gotta take this guy and tell him to come off this. And come on, this that was too easy. Too easy can be easy. See? Ah oh, man. Mr. Libero went up and then he created a space. Libero Joey went up, right? And then he created a space for the for that to happen. I mean, kind of the downside of playing with Joey as a Libero. Oh, what a pass! What a pass! It's 2-1. What a pass from Divisio. Divisio is our little money ball buy that's turned into a bloody gem. I think it was Divisio who played the pass. Mina, was it Divisio? If I'm not mistaken, it is him. Yeah, it was Divisio. The playmaker steps up, plays a beautiful pass to Da Silva. Da Silva goes on to score. Look at him. He's now ruling the rules, man. This guy is not having a good game. Okay. So far, so good. That's a nice... 2-1 lead that we have. Okay. Lavia. This is where we'll be dangerous. The Vizio. Looks long. Oh. Oh, oh man. Croson. Goes long. Okay. This should be ours. Joey. Yep. Okay. The positioning of the player should be enough. Yep. Okay. Late. Comes inside. Finds the silver. What a pass. I think it's a cartel. Yeah. Another English is going to. I said, yeah, this this is the part that I don't like, right? For me, as a 
as a fan of the beautiful game, as a, as a fan of English football in general, right? I'm a huge fan of English football. I grew up with that, you know. I mean, I, I grew up watching it with my grandfather. I got a lot of love for English clubs, right? But the one thing that drove my passion for English football, just football in general, was the fans. All the fans, right? So you got all these fans that are driving the clubs. And you see the purity and the, you know, when you're growing up. But right now, all these foreign countries just buying up clubs left, right, and center. So we've got an English club now. Two, I mean, how many English clubs? There are quite a few, right? I mean, okay, am I against an individual owner? I'm not, okay? Don't get me wrong. Okay, I'm not against individual owners. Like, you know, Everton is owned by an individual. That's fine. Um, you know, that's okay. Uh, the, you, you know, clubs are, can be owned by individuals, right? But I'm against the idea of a club being owned by a country or an investment trust, right? That I, I have a problem with. Because when it came to Qatar, Qatar, that's like taking the collective savings of the Qataris in Qatar. It's, a, it's an investment corporation uh, that's investing their money. They go into, they take buy an English Premier League club. That's it. That's it. And it's not really an investment. It's just that also, the money also comes from the, the, the royal connections. So I'm against that. That is, that is plain out, you know, country is buying your club, man. Mina's doing well. Look at a ball winning midfielder so high up the pitch, right? This is the only problem I have. If they work it out from the back, then I've got to... Joey! What a player! He wants other clubs to sign him immediately. Rewind to Groen. Okay, now the ball winning midfielder goes further up. Look at that. Where is he? You know, he's pushed all the way up. He's such a nuisance in, in, in higher parts of the pitch, right? All corrupt money rules the world. Should the three foreigners rule return if you had the chance to bring it back? Nah, I think it's not. It's, then somebody's going to sue the English Premier League for, what is it? Uh, I don't know. People find a reason to sue the sue English clubs for some reason or other. Limiting uh, employee... Was it? Limiting employment opportunities, right? That was... That, they were... I think that was one of the um, reasons given in one of the lawsuits. Completely unmarked at the far post. How can this happen? Look at that. Look, look at that. Everybody, these three jokers are running here. This is one of the bugs in the game currently. Right? This is a major issue in the game. Oh, let's go to... I can't go to 2D. We gotta go sideline. Let's go to 2D here. Okay? I'll show you what I mean. Okay? Guy gets a header, right? Now, when I see this, I get very... I, I I don't feel like playing the game after that. Okay. Guy goes in. Bang. See, no, you see this as a tree collective, right? Okay, but when you watch this, you go to TV. Or, okay, now watch this here. So, 3D animations are important. Okay, the moment this corner is taken, we got this guy. We got my player here. What's these two guys doing? Yeah, okay. They're marking him at this point. Ball comes in. Okay, they stop marking him at this point for some strange reason. We got one guy here. These two stop marking him. He wins the header. They go like, okay, fine. We're going to do something with this attack. See, this is a problem, right? In the game, there's something called a reset and a switch, right? So this is like the switch for the AI to go into his attacking setup. You see what's going to happen is see, this person is already taking his attacking position. These two are going to start running and they go, okay, fine. Now the ball has gone back this way. So they're looking at the ball and all of them will be attracted to the ball. Right? And they're all attracted to the ball. So this will pull these guys away. But my players are still in an attacking position because I've got counter press on. Okay? So um, my counter press, uh, we won the ball back. So the guys are now going to the attacking position. Now they're still following. They're still following. Now because they want to close him down. So this triggers this guy. He comes in. This guy goes here. This guy comes here. This guy goes here. This guy comes here. This guy goes here. I've got these two guys on mark. Stop here. Bang. Throughout this entire period, none of these players looked here. 
because they were all set, they were all caught in the wrong transition. There we go. Three players. When we can rule it off as a, uh, what do you call it? Um, the AI has just given up, I guess. Wow, after that long little thing, my players have fallen asleep too. Yeah, bad marking. Sometimes you want to put everybody on man marking. Here we go, Marcin. Holy guacamole, look at that pass, man. What a challenge, what a challenge. Read one, plays it long. Come on, boys. Yes. Now you see my ball when he made fit on support. Right? All out of position. Oh, what a chip for Monichua. What a goal. They scored two goals in injury time to level the match. Holy shit. Holy shit. I should have I should have uh, changed my setup to be a bit more defensive if I didn't. But this has been entertaining. Seven minutes of stoppage time. My God. Seven minutes of stoppage, man. What's wrong with me today? I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm just entertaining. I'm just entertaining myself. Yeah, it's become a... Yeah, it's become a... Football arms race, not a money arms race. Football arms race. PSG want to pull their clout, so they signed a... I think for the Parisians, they must be less sure of the world. I don't get why a club, how a club like PSG, in a league where the TV rights are so low, can afford to have players like that in their club. No, it comes from oil. It doesn't come from TV rights. It doesn't come from any of that nonsense. It comes from oil. That's what they have there. Bloody hate that. It's a reality. You're from Southampton. We sold so many players for a lot of money. We never see much of that money again. So where is that money? Oh, yeah. Guess that money is... Uh, with the owners of the club, different, right? Because ultimately, when a person buys the club, right? Okay, I think what has happened is, in terms of, it's actually like Southampton is still doing okay. Right? You know, in financial dire straits, I mean, I imagine. But, you got other clubs that went under because the money kept being spent. So some other, I'm hoping this is the case of Southampton, which is, um, they made money from player sales, but they put the money back into the club. Let the money, right? They make making sure that uh, they don't spend beyond their means. I'm sure that there are some clubs that have got bail. Uh, there are some leagues where they do things like bailout packages for their clubs. I'm sure, that's, uh, that topic will come up one of these days. Okay, we got a DLP. Divisio, please play here as a DLP. You're the only one I trust. The rest of these players, got a long way to go, man. Montaro? Montaro, okay, no, you're too, too shite. You're injured. You're late. We're sharing up there. I think late is tired. Okay, Hussein, I think you can be a ball winner. Got the grow and come here. Okay, read one, late. Okay, let's go. Exactly. As long as they're interested in it as a sport. But ultimately, they wouldn't be investing in it unless it was a business from which they could make money. I doubt it. I doubt it's a case of... Um, yeah. I, I think that... Do you use roles as a tech director, technical director? No. Nope. Never bought it. Do you have... <laughs> The director of football and the head of youth development is more like for your new gens in youth development, right? So after a while, it gets a bit more. I mean, you, I do get the best kind of youth. Uh, director of football affect, influences the kind of new gens you get in the club, right? So that's the that's the thing. And um, it, I think director of football affects the outliers more than anything else. So unless, I don't really care about the director of football that much. Yeah, 
I just worry about getting the right kind of personalities being my director of football, my staff and my coaches. Bruce has no chance. No chance at all. If Steve Bruce keeps his job, man, I'm going to be very, very surprised, man. Because these, we got new owners coming in. I don't think they're going to keep Steve Bruce. Because first up, they're going to have to... I suspect they'll go like, okay, we need some marquee coach. Right? They want a marquee coach that can attract players to the club. So money alone won't. So they they got to... There must be a reason. They got to have to make... Oh, hits the post. Uh, they got to be a reason for players to, to want to come. I mean, Newcastle is a brilliant place to stay. Right. Newcastle is beautiful. I love Newcastle. It's like the party capital of the UK, man, sometimes for me. I, I absolutely love Newcastle. I've been there once before and I will... If I could live somewhere in the UK, probably in Newcastle as well. So... Uh, Oi! Get back to the ball. He's fighting for the ball. Graham Potter is one of the potential coaches. Oh my goodness. Graham Potter... I don't think so, man. SI video encouraging delegation, but I'm scared to do it as they are. Yeah, I mean, so. I mean, you can delegate a lot of the stuff in the game. Okay, you can delegate. Okay, you can delegate press conferences. You can delegate team talks. Okay, honestly, you can do that. Don't worry about it. You can delegate press conferences, team talks. That's fine. Um, you can delegate contract negotiations with um, your staff, right? To your DOF. I do that all the time. I never even... I don't even... Uh, I do the initial signing of the staff and my director of football, right? But then when it comes to renewal of contracts, I renew his contract first and let him take care of the rest. That's my... That's the way I play the game. Nice way, okay. All right. Oh, lovely. Ah, oh, true. No. Still no goal here. Oh, that's it. Ah, he misses a golden chance. My God. The keeper gave us the ball and we couldn't find the back of the net. Okay, okay, okay. We want to... I think what we're going to do is we're going to bring down the tempo slightly. Oh, yes. Yeah, sweet thing you. Nicely done. Oh, again. And this keeper is doing a really good job keeping us at bay, man. I don't think I don't think it'll be Graham Potter. Nah. I doubt it'll be Graham Potter. I don't but they will definitely want to bring in now is probably the time where they start negotiating with uh, the manager the the coaches, right? The potential managers. And the potential manager is probably the the one they want to bring in, right? So they will talk to him. Most likely, they're going to ask him who he wants to sign. Right? They will do that before he comes. Potential signings. Is there any players that he's, he's probably going to see? Because he, if I was him and I'm coming into and you want me as a coach, right? I'll go in there. Yeah, I'll, I, I want to. I don't mind joining a club, but there are certain potential targets I'm interested in. Will he be able to get me these players? Because Newcastle need a coach more than anything else. Right? Because if they don't get the right coach, they don't get the right players. The players will not going to... With Newcastle, I guarantee you the players will come. The players will go to Newcastle. Yeah. But it definitely makes Newcastle worth following. I mean, I, I would follow Newcastle because... I mean, like, when Kevin Keegan was managing Newcastle, man, Newcastle was fun to watch. <laughs> it was so fun to watch Newcastle play. I mean, come on, who doesn't remember Newcastle's great days? Right. I mean, there are a lot of people want to see a good Newcastle team. I do. Nah, that's the one good thing that can come out of this uh, whole uh, thing. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is going on, man? We have been really, literally trying to unlock this team. But let's bring out the tempo, dribble less, put ball into box. Nothing much is happening. Okay, 10 more minutes. Now we're going we're gonna to just go for it. Let's go and look for a goal now. Okay. All right, got these guys in their positions. Let's hope. Usually, Lanver is played as a, a defensive winger. See what's going to happen is I change tactics. Come on, come on, counter attack, score goal. Oh, yeah. 
No, 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 no. <laughs> Man, smashed it. It was offside. Watford. Well, Watford is a crazy club, right? Watford. I think Watford. Refl Watford. There was this great years where what? Well, who was the manager of Watford? Was it Graham Taylor? They were playing the crazy football. Uh, The owners of Watford are mad, yeah, correct. Newcastle should consciously stay in the Premier League first before looking at it. Yeah, that's Stephen is right as well. Newcastle should worry about making sure they, they are in the Premier League. Can you imagine when all the top right of the Saudis coming in, there, Newcastle end up being relegated? Yeah, Newcastle should worry about Which may not be a bad thing for Newcastle, because then there's not so much pressure for the incoming manager. Offside. He's on, no? He's onside because he was the movement was good. Oh, come on. This guy could be offside. He was me playing us on if I saw. Let's see. Go doesn't stand. Shit, man. This allowed. I thought he was on. <sighs> Can't wait for FM22. Uh, this guy shouldn't be a... I forgot, this guy in this setup should be a DLF on support. <laughs> we are putting this team to the paces, but they seem to be doing quite well, holding us off. Nicely done. The ball winning midfielder does his job and then he plays it back to the ball playing defender who goes, I'm a left footed player who is going to bring the ball inside. Whoa! The silver does it from outside the box gets us our goal. Oh man, this is good. This Biko is the left footed player, but the animation shows him dribbling with his left and right, left and right. What a smashing shot from there. Okay, it drills into the bottom. Bottom. Oh, okay, we're gonna ignore this. Now we're gonna go to you. Um, yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Not gonna work more into box. We're gonna hit early. No short kicks. We're gonna roll it out. That's the problem with this tank thing. No regroup. Ah, hell, come to press me. No regroup. We just wanna make sure that we don't screw up our run. <laughs> If not, they only created two shots, none of them on target. Divisio has been playing every single game, but it's too, I mean, it's too late to make a change. Oh, okay, come on, FD. A silver back heals it. Oh, you sweet thing, you. No, 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 go, go, go. go. You, what's wrong with you? Who's that? Mina. Okay, go, go, go. Oh, yeah, third shot not on target. They will just pay their way back up and they agree they need to stay up. Yeah. Yeah, they'll probably pay to get themselves promoted. But who's going to come when you're relegated, right? So, that's the other thing. And players usually have this release clause once they are demoted. They can be taken for the cheap. Oh, this is a sending off. Ito. No, it's not. A few seconds left. Do it. Do it. Okay, what I say from Ujian. We will struggle to stay in the EPL with Steve Bruce. <laughs> He's not exactly a specialist in survival. Eh? Was never worried with Rafa. Yeah. Rafa Benitez should have been Newcastle. Yeah. I agree. Rafa Benitez was a marquee coach for Newcastle. Absolutely marquee coach. Everton have got a damn good coach in their hands. He knows how to get the best of his players. Right, we've won this game. We got a bit of a dodgy run. <laughs> Drop points there. Now we're playing Young Burns. Be free tonight. We have still got a... <laughs> I can't help it, young boys. <laughs> Stupid song came to my head. Okay, all right. Okay, we're going to go on holiday until the next match. The new manager will be expected to turn... This is problem with this, right, Andy? Is you know, you're putting a lot of pressure on the manager to turn things around. 
that's a lot of pressure, right? So how many managers will want to come into a situation where there's so much expectation and pressure on the manager? Okay. There are two unknown factors here. First, we've got a new club, but we don't know about the players either, right? Players are human beings too. Their families are human beings too, right? So there's a lot of uncertainty. If you got these new owners coming in, how the players going to react? Are, will they be happy playing? Because a player has to be happy playing for the owners as well, not just the manager. Okay, he has to buy buy in. There's this buy in that has to happen on every single level, right? So that's the other thing. There's uh, I'm I'm thinking. You know, it's gonna be quite, it's gonna be quite interesting. So, oh, he's actually right footed. I mean, idiot. Okay. Um. So yeah, it's gonna be a tough time for the. Uh, players and the coach so it's a lot of pressure on the coach man a hell of a lot of pressure on the coach that's how i think you know that's how i feel yeah okay, you're developing well we have to play with you man okay joey all right we got option a option b <laughs> and option c okay. and they play a dm we go into this but we'll start with this it's a bit more easier to be tactical with the defensive uh striker system Say Maximin, Max, yeah. Say Maximin is a very good player for Newcastle. Very, he's playing very well. That's a very strange angle to show us the walkout of the players. But he comes on and he's got a blue shin already. Richard, oh. anyway, we come into this game and I see there's a Richarlison in this team. Look at that. Richarlison didn't even last two minutes. Taken off immediately. All right, we're gonna swap. Okay, to this now. We're just going to take the game to them. Elvedi. Elvedi. Nico Elvedi. What is this? Why does everybody seem to have interesting players, right? That's, Nick, that's Nico Elvedi. It can't be, right? Come on, man. It can't be. Even the young boys have a good team. Come on. It can't, it can't be that good. What a cross. Oi! I don't believe that you can miss a hitter from there. <gasps> That's gotta be the, the craziest miss of all time, man. That's a close range hitter that he missed and he hit the crossbar. Holy shit, 0 0.7. That's a clear cut chance. I mean, really, any part of your body. Wait, that. Yeah, he hit his head, but how could he miss the header from there? Oh my goodness, late again, come on. Give us one of your crosses. Okay, inverter winger, shadow striker, AF, yeah, okay. Uh, okay, shadow striker, AF, yeah, like this means you have a central attacking pair. So I'm not going to change my tactic. I'm just happy playing it this way. Yeah, they all have to try and pull my player out of position. That's silver again. ASM is a god. Plays well in FM as well if you build team around him. Who's ASM? Oh, Alan St. Maximin. Yeah, yeah, he's a very, very good player. He's like a the one of the best. Like right? you can you can play him. You can play him as an inverter winger on attack. He'll be creating chances. You can play him as an inside forward. You can play him as a winger. There's three options you have with that player. It's just that his blistering place is just Yeah, it just makes him a bit unstoppable. What one two buckle my should grow gets away, grows inside the box. What he's gonna hold it up? No, he takes. Yeah, this is short. You wanted to see him at Liverpool? I don't think he fits the Liverpool. Um, yeah, he would have been a good option for Liverpool, but I don't know if Liverpool would have signed him. They want a finisher, right? Liverpool's problem right now is they need to find a player that's just like Sadio Mane or. Mo Salah. So there are not a lot of players in the world that can play wide and come in with that kind of blistering pace and acceleration to be goal scorers. Read one. This is us. Come on, Divizio. Don't fall asleep. Oh no, he's fallen asleep. He is fallen asleep. Okay, we have to make a change here in our tactic. Um, this will help us keep possession of the ball. Okay, okay we're going to keep this like this. He brings my ball out wider and then I can I can do more from the flanks, right? Stretches our team 
might be okay. Oh no. Oh block. <laughs> I got I see I see um highlight like that. I, guess. I go oh no. The man is a good place, right? They understand what he's about to do. A lot of broken attacking. Yeah, final third transitions were uh, Newcastle. Newcastle are a good team with him in it. But I never understood. Was it Joe Linton was a Newcastle player, right? Okay, or well, still is, I think. Oi! Luca Richel. I mean, we're not playing well. We are so not playing. We didn't even bother with our set pieces. I see where I got a defender on the far post, right? Okay. So who's this? Biko, right? Okay. Who's this? Puge. Who's this? Da Silva. Okay. Who gets in? Right, Shaf. Six yard. Divisio. Okay, let's see our set pieces. Set pieces, corners, defending. Six yard, far post. My mark, my mark, my mark. No, he just, he just lost the marker. It's one one. Come on, put some pressure on them boys. Okay, one, two, three inside the box. He's gonna do well. Oh man. I don't understand why we are playing so badly now. We started playing well and then suddenly everything is falling apart. Red one is not playing well. Uh, left flank is playing quite badly. I mean, having said that, this guy is, you see, he's yeah, technique a bit. Tech, that could explain why he didn't tackle very well. But he's tackling numbers on that fantasy his position. I mean, we got to look at our players as well. Lingard, what happened to Newcastle? You set up. They used to produce a lot of youngsters. Yeah, that's a very good point, Stephen. What happened to all the Newcastle youngsters? There was a time when you could count on Newcastle to give us a superstar. Now we don't see it anymore. Oh, it's gone. Read one is having a bad game. I don't have another left back. I can actually do something. Oops, sorry, I hit the microphone. You probably guys probably heard that. Okay, we're gonna put a land here. I'm gonna bring uh, um, this guy down. Okay. Why should I push him up? Okay. Uh, we're gonna talk to our boys and demand more. We gotta get a win, man. We're gonna we're gonna finish bottom of this table. That's it for our campaign. Offering the players that don't need will be harder. Yeah. Every time you manage Newcastle, I can never get rid of it. Yeah, yeah, I know the feeling. Uh, John Joe Shelby always stands up, right? In Newcastle, stays in Newcastle. It's like one of the first few players. If I manage Newcastle, it's one of the first few players I want to release. Always. The first player you want to get rid of is... I, for me, he's like the first player I want to get rid of. John Joe Shelby. Not because I've got anything against him. I just don't think he's... Uh, a bit of a luxury, I think, for Newcastle. But you gotta be like he's he's been such a loyal servant to Newcastle. That's the, the thing about him as well. The former new Liverpool player. Oh 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 he has done it. Oh we managed to survive. Oh, we played really badly, man. Shelby always on the shelves. Ha ha ha. Worst training facilities in the day, all newbies go to Southampton. Then they moved to, they, uh, then they moved to Liverpool, right? <laughs> You start at Southampton and finish your career in Liverpool. Thanks for all the fish, guys. <laughs> Literally, in Southampton, you get a lot of fish and chips. Maybe. Ah, shit. What did I say from Roger? Right. It's by the coast, man. I mean, okay, are the girls in Southampton more beautiful than the girls in Newcastle? I always thought that was the case. Are the girls more beautiful in Newcastle? Yeah, I met, I met a few girls in Newcastle that were like, <gasps> drop date gorgeous. I was like, oh my god. Don't tell my wife about it. <laughs> oh, here we go. 
Biko, oh, Biko don't lose the ball. Joey, come on, we have a chance, man. Four minutes. Come on, boys. There's about four minutes left. We haven't played badly. Just two mistakes and you allowed. Oh my goodness. This is the game. These are the kind of games that piss me off. Right. We've hit the post a few times in this game, right? I think twice, if I'm not mistaken. Once once was very early. That near what that what that point blank hitter that we missed this point seven seven chance. Clear cut chance right at the start of the game. And then we hit the we crack the woodwork again. This is the time when you know your players are not playing well. And it's probably down to your management of their condition. You gotta rotate them. It happens all the time in this game. So you have to just You have to start thinking about other players. Okay, so we're gonna rotate on these players soon. Oh, we're going on, we're going on a bad run. We haven't even moved up the table. It's like What am I gonna do with this team? Jolly girls are the best, but don't tell my wife she's Scottish. <laughs> nice girls all over the world, by the Yeah, Jolly girls, I mean I seriously think oh Jolly girls are the best. Really, honestly. Man, girl, I mean, like, even when I'm in Singapore, right? In, when I was in Singapore, yeah, I saw these friends in the UK who are living and working in Singapore. So they all from the UK. And then we got the girls are they're from different parts of the UK. But it's always the Jordy girls that are best looking. Like, seriously, I'm like, after a while I had to ask one of my friends, she's from Newcastle. I said, I actually, it was direct. So I said, listen, this can't be a coincidence, can it? I you know I that was a long, long time ago, man. Back when I was a different man. Oi, the other way. Okay. I'm gonna go for this, right? So we're gonna rotate a couple of players and bring them on. Yeah, I don't mind losing. I just wanna change things around. Okay. Uh we're gonna give others a chance to play now. Okay, this guy, Thompson, is coming in. Okay. Even though he can't tackle, this is a big risk I'm taking. Oh left footer, he come in here then. Okay, Thompson, come here. Okay. Alright, then we're gonna bring it's the secret agent, bring him on. Okay, put the secret agent there. Alright, we got another player. This is literally everyone is gonna get a chance now to impress me. Okay. Uh Rashidi Kolina. Okay, you get a chance to play here. Okay, he's a DLF on support. Okay, Aaron, Joey, and Biko. Biko, I mean, you can't really make too many changes in defense, right? So now. Okay. Go in. Okay. This is the one of those few times I go into a team talk and I say it slightly differently. Come on. Hey, I'm pissed off as hell. Forget a tactical meeting. I'm not interested in anything else. Okay, submit the team. Yes, we're going with this bunch. Players are going right now. Is the team talk? Throw the water bottle. I mean, I, I want to do this. Right, this is me. Right, trash arms. Oh, we run. Can I throw the water bottle? I can't even throw. Pump face, okay. Go out there. What's up, pump face? I don't even believe there's a thing. Okay. Uh, that's it. I'm not going to do all that nonsense. Which is, uh, like, you feel like you need to go and individually kind of, you know, talk to each player. I, I don't even do that. If I lose, I lose. Smash the monitor and walk away. Southampton need to find the next temp, next number 10 that can reveal Matt Letizia. Oh man, Matt Letizia, they probably have a statue of him at Southampton. They will never, you will never get another Matt Letizia. Matt Letizia is like Newcastle's version of George Best, right? It's like Southampton's version of George Why am I saying Newcastle? It's like the greatest. Oh, we got your boy son playing. Yeats gets the ball. He's going to drive all the way and take a shot and go. Your favorite teams to watch are Leeds. Oh, Brentford. Who doesn't like Brentford? Brentford are exciting to watch. Brentford are so exciting to watch. There's such a there's such a joy to watch in the Premier League. You, know? you see these new boys because they, they haven't changed the way they play. Uh, they, was, they were easily one of the most attacking sides that didn't get promoted the first time around, right? So, one of the most attacking sides then. Um, now they kept the same style of play and they got promoted playing the same style of play. What a goal. 
they got promoted with that. Okay. Is there anything else I can do? Sometimes the change in tactics can snap your losing streak. But this is wide, right? So right now, a lot of teams are playing. Oh, this is this is asking for trouble. Look at that. They got double doubles and coming down my flanks. What can I do? I can I can make a change. Okay, we put you here. We put you here. Uh, what is your roles? All right. Okay. You. I have. Hold me now. Okay, I don't know what to do with you. You can play on the right. Okay. Okay, you come here. Trey, we come with the winger. All right. Okay, we got one guy sorted. <laughs> okay, we push you here. You become DLP on support. Done. Turn you two guys into central defenders. You are the problem, child. You gotta be wing back on support, but I don't think you can play that role. Wing back on support. Drop you here. You're on a yellow card, so you might as well just come out. DLP, DLP, you come here. What are you? Left winger, right, try killer balls. Yeah, you can play as any with the winger too. You two can be, you just stay pressing forward. Alas, do you have any other traits that might be interesting? Yeah, got the place one, two, three. Okay. Wing back on attack. We'll go wing back on attack. These guys are going to try and win the ball high up the pitch. No pass into space. We'll focus, focus. Keep the ball a bit. Um, dribble less. Counter regroup. Okay, do this. Okay, we're gonna create this as a new was it final Fay four to four. It's very aggressive though. This is the only thing here. This tries to win the ball here. Hold up. Is this guy hold up the ball looking for players? Uh, this again overlap. Okay, so let's see what happens. Actually, we can underlap. Let's try underlaps. One goal down, and we're making all these changes. Biko, Mandy, Book. You remember the original series of Ovidius and Pet? I don't remember that. Oi! Ah! Forgot to change something. Idiot. <laughs> I had a party. I did a parting of the Red Sea effect. You know, it's not a goal, but it's a parting of the Red Sea because they've been told to stay right there. <laughs> so they parted. See that? <laughs> oh, man. I forgot to remove the parting of the Red Sea. Oh, no, it was stupidissimo. Okay, now you see, no more parting of the Red Sea. No more parting. Earlier, there was a parting of the Red Sea. And the moment I saw that, I went like, holy cow, that's wrong. Okay, we're going to try and get back. I don't know how I'm going to do this, man. This is going to be like Mission Impossible. Um, okay, how do we do this? Gonna, first, we're going to have to take a few chance, a few risks. Okay, I'm going to do a double EF. Okay, um, I could do this. But that's too risky. Do this. Offset. This guy wins here, this guy holds up. Allows this guy to get up the pitch. Okay. 
Okay. This guy needs to be a ball playing defender in this case to keep up with the wing back, but. Ay, ay, ay. I think we, we've lost this game, man. You walked past them because you couldn't run. <laughs> Oh. oh no 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 yeah boa that's the like one of those annoying passes that you see in the game when he dribbles the length of the pitch just to make a short pass to somebody over there when he uh, and that's where the role is, uh, you know, the white playmaker roles, running all over the, over the place looking for options to give. This I like this tactic a lot. White playmaker, winger, box to box, ball winning midfield. This is a very nice tactic. You got this guy creating all kinds of havoc on this side of the pitch. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So we got a white playmaker creating havoc, right? So what we'll do is we give the white playmaker something to do. Okay, we're gonna attack, we're gonna attack. So you are now just a wing back on defense with the overlap. Okay, you are gonna come in here. We are giving him a lot of things to worry about. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna do this. Uh we're not gonna have the underlap. Wing back on support. Wing back, wing back, wing back. Where's the wing back on support? Okay, there we go. Okay, this ball winning midfielder is here. Um, okay, let's see if this works. Okay, he's a left sided player, right? Okay, let's go. Come on, let's get back into this game. Sure about Jordi's working in Germany. Okay, I've never seen that before. Oh, we just in bed, never seen that show before. Oh, they're playing so well now. Yeah. Brought the mentality to positive. Let's try if we can keep the ball. We're not doing that badly. We're not creating anything from this. Okay. Are you another Yoboa special coming up? Long kick up. Good work. But remember, we gave, we brought in, a, we gave, oh my goodness. Man, we are just not finding the back of the net. Damir, Landvia, ball winning midfielder, DLP, one LS Toe trying his best. Maybe I think my team needs to go on a holiday somewhere. Oi. He's been a nuisance, man, this whole game. Okay, good work defending that. Buy Lozek? I think I should. But so far, we haven't really gone out there and like, you know, uh, we only bought one player, Divizio, and Joey. That's two players. Joey because it's part of the challenge. And then Divizio. But whether I know I can keep Joey is a different story. Joey might get annoyed at my management skills at Feyenoord and stay decide, okay, I've had enough of you, I'm leaving. Well, it's one of those bad games that we played. We thought we could change things around by playing a different set of players, but apparently that would, did really help us out. So it was a, a very bad performance. Which warrants some reflection. Yeah, that's a surprise win. Okay. Let's let's look at our team. Let's because I know I've been playing strikers. I just a bit I'm a bit fed up of playing strikers anyway. So let's look at our team and see what we can do with this team, right? Okay. Let's go to the next match first. <laughs> we worry about our tactic in the next match. What are the potential possible formations that we can play? 
The easiest ones are the ones that uh, the easiest tactic, the easiest formation in this game is the 4-3-3, right? But the challenge when you play a 4-3-3 is you are always going to struggle with creating good opportunities because um, you have to make a very good 4-3-3 and you have to have ver three very good central midfielders. Okay. Can we come up with a 4-3-3? We've got Mina, we've got Groen up top. Um, they can play on the wings. We've got he can play on the wings. So we've got three of them. Okay, fine. What about who are our three midfielders? We've got Joey, we've got Divizio. We just need one more. If I can put three guys in the middle of the park, we can definitely play with a 4-3-3. Then we'll play with a Regista, a ball-winning midfielder, and probably a CM on attack. And I can push high up the pitch, so it gives me more options. And it will also concede the fewer, fewer, the fewest, um, the fewest goals per game. I really, really wanted to stay on a 3 4 one, two. But I'm having problems with the 3 4 one, two. Simply, we have creating a lot of chances, right? So, we can play the more defensive version, which is the one with the wing backs. But FM doesn't like that tactic. Uh, doesn't like defensive back three systems. Gives you low possession numbers. In order for you to get high possession numbers, you will play high up the pitch. Yeah, so we'll just switch to a 4 3 3. Alright, I mean, I want to play this actually. Alright, so we'll stick to this. Okay, we've got this. We got this. I mean, these are all strikers like this, but I don't want to play strikers. It feels so wrong. Okay, uh, DM Portuguese. Hey, no, not the DM Portuguese. Huh? They play so many tactics. They play Brazil Box, they play the Diablo. Oh, the Diablo system. You guys remember Diablo? Kashim Pasha, 4 2 3 1. Kashim Pasha, Monkey Ranch. What the hell are all these tactics? 4 3 1 2, 4 3, Turkey 4 3 3. Okay, uh, this one. Okay, we go register here. This is a bit more attacking. We play the CM on attack. Uh, inverted winger on support. A winger on attack. Advance forward. Ball winning midfielder. Fullback, fullback. Mm, this side will be wingman on support to support this side. This side will be a wingman on support. Uh, play our defense. Okay, triple less. Minimum counter press. Low line of engagement. This new title. Get done. Okay. Alright, quick pick. Divisio Lema Joey. I knew it. The silver, Mina can work in this. Mina can run down the flanks and be the winger. Mm, 13. Where is the guy called Alice? Yeah, Sharon and Alice Toy. This guy. Okay, there we go. That was quick. He was, I wiped FM 21 now too. <laughs> yeah, I have a diamond tactic as well. Diamonds are quite fun. Diamonds are very fun to play. Right, you can, you can actually play, I, I can actually play a diamond as well. Not a problem. But diamond, okay, for a diamond to work, right, you need very good fullbacks. Yeah, acceleration is 15. This guy is actually 17, so he's not too bad. But he's got a he's got this weakness, which is his um his uh composure. Let's go for this, man. We're gonna turn things around. Okay. We're gonna turn things around. Right. Again, we're on key highlights. We're not changing too much. Oh, they're playing this. They're playing with two strikers. Mr. Singh in the center. I and they're playing with a DM. This is going to be a challenging setup, man. Okay. All right. We're going to go World Boy in two box. Low crosses. Okay. We're going to have to bring the game to them. Yeah. Okay. It could work. They're playing so defensively. We're just going to park around the box and make sure that we get chances. Uh, wingers are going to stretch the game. Hopefully, we're not too narrow. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, the only problem with these 4 3 3 systems is that they have. Oh, man. Come on. Damn it. Oh, my goodness. The first shot they've had is a 
a free kick, direct free kick and they score from here. But the, the ball just went past my wall. Ay, 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 ay. Okay. Hearings over. Roger is having to do wonderful things by keeping the ball. Okay, this is this is attacking. I know I was very attacking. Uh, okay, we go DRP on support. You hold your position. We go attacking. We go much higher line engagement. Right, okay. All right. Use the outside trap. Draw them in. Can't let the wing backs up the pitch. Clear the ball. Grow into the ball. Hopefully, you pull one back, man. I don't like this. This is very solid, right? This is a perfect counter to this system. It's got three. This guy is pushed, uh, pinging the ball forward. Two wing backs protecting the flank. So this guy's gonna have a hard time. And then we got one striker against all this this whole bunch. Makes me want to roll up the three four one two and bring it back because the three four one two will be able to counter this. Uh, I gotta wait until the half. I know the first half. There's still a chance. If I can keep the ball away from them, we should still be okay. We got Beaker, Lever, Joey, Lamer, Divizio, Hefty. So we have our 3 4 1 2 as well. Was it the, the, the 3 4 1 2? Okay, that's 42. We're still not opening this team up. Come on, Red One. Joey with the ball. Finds Red One. Gets it to the silver. Into the Vizio, finds Lamer. Joey looks up. Can't play the pass. Too deep. Biko, the Vizio, read one. <coughs> Excuse me. Read one. The silver, the Vizio. Oh no, not again. Uh oh. Uh oh. Second goal. Joey Biko Lamb with the Silver Division Lima growing. But Sharon comes here. This guy comes here. This guy comes here. Man, we are getting him. How long does it take to get familiar familiar with all three tactics? If what you want to do three tactics? Like I said, uh tactical familiarity it Three tactics will take you a while. Sometimes about maybe four months in the game. Right? But you have to play all the three tactics. You guys can't leave one tactic. You got to like rotate in preseason. Get them to play with all the three systems. If, the, if the three systems aren't too divergent, meaning you're playing like similar, it's a wing back, right? It's always going to be a wing back. So if the three systems aren't too far apart, it's very fast. But generally it takes a longer time. One tactic can be up to about eight weeks to preseason the whole preseason. Yeah, you can you can get tactical familiarity by October at the earliest. September, October. Full tactical familiarity with one tactic easily. Man, we're getting we're getting pummel out in this game today. Today has just been a bad day. It's just been a bad day. Joey, Biko, the 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 the. How do you often to use the third system? I hardly ever use. It. I hardly ever play three systems. I like to play one system. At most two tactics if I want to, but I don't like to play with three tactics. I mean, I just I'm just you know feel like playing a third system. That's all. Just over complicating my game for no other reason. Yeah. I don't see a need to play multiple tactics. One tactic should be fine. This game isn't that complicated. I just make it more complicated for myself by changing tactics so often. And I look at that. The players are all playing like dog shit now. Three against this backline. We have to, the thing is, you have to go camping against a tactic like that. But we're not even... See what I mean when you play these kind of systems? You know, pass into space, maybe work ball into box, low crosses, go high up the pitch and try and see what we can do. Five minutes left. 
Passed into space against a team. I, I didn't even change my tactic, which is a bad thing, right? Passed into space can't, doesn't work against this. There's no space. You got to go up, camp, and try and score. So you, you have to keep the ball. And then if you don't keep the ball, you're in trouble. But then you got to go high up the pitch. So our first highlight came after I took our pass into space. And then you got two strikers versus your three defenders. We're getting, we got work by this team really nicely. You tried uh, Carrillo, Mazala, DLF, Central Diamond, uh, but the concept was ah, fun. It can be fun to try out. It's fun to try out different concepts. Oh, this is bad, man. I like to change tactics a lot. So, you know, the reason why I do that is because people, are, I am itchy nowadays. Oh, with the, so I play a different tactic. They get bored with the same tactic all the time. Oh my god, this hit the post. Oh, that was bad, man. Oh, we have been on a bad run. Not playing this team at home. Go on holiday next match. This is it, man. This has got to be the last game. You gotta stop the rot after a while, right? So this is me having to stop the rot. I have to win one game before I stop this stop the stream. Do you always have a tactical decision to play the way you want or to play to the strengths? You should always, always play to the strengths of your players, not the tactical decision. Tactical decisions only apply when your players can play in multiple positions and they're good enough to do that. But always play to the strengths of your team. That should always be your priority. Play one style as far as you can. Don't, don't be uh oh I, I think I should play this tactic. Um no, like I we've been playing with this for a while, right? So this has always been working for us. No, we decided to go and I got bored and I decided to change tactics. Because I, I don't like to play this tactic too often. But you should you should stick to the system that works the best for your team. Always do that. That's the first thing you should do. Don't... The only time you do the tactical switches is if you have a team that can do those kind of things. Like, you know, you can move from a 4-3-3 to a 4-2-3-1 easily because you see something happening in the game. Then that's a different story. Then you're making a tactical switch because you you see something in the game. Like right now, I'm making a tactical switch immediately. Right. We are playing with wing backs. We are playing with wing backs. Essentially the same system playing against each other. So what I'm gonna do, I mean I could just stay like this. Right, but I wanna make I could let, let's try this out first, right? Let's try and draw their wing backs high up the pitch. I was going to put the defensive wingers high up the pitch. If I played defensive wingers high up the pitch, it would just oh my goodness. Uh these guys, gonna, the defensive wingers high up the pitch would put their wing backs, keep their wing backs pinned back. Now my wing backs, let's see, let's see, let's see. Because so far I'm still having a lot of possession. Damn it! I want them to come down the flanks. No, no, no. I'm itching, itching. Fifteen minutes. No, no, nothing's happening. That's it. We're coming out of this, man. Pushing these guys up to defensive wingers. Defensive wingers on support. Okay. Counter pressing at the same time. Uh, I'm gonna st still play pass into space and hit the early cross. So this triple less. The silver. If you have the best place in the world, yeah, nothing. Right. You should go with the top club during the beta, then you can try different things out, different kinds of tactics. But if you have, if you go with your favorite club, or if your favorite club happens to be like Watford or Brighton, right, then you're gonna struggle. Then you shouldn't do that because you're gonna get frustrated. You don't know what's a new thing in the game, right? So yeah, defensive wingers, okay, then we go. We are in the opponent's third minute. This one I want to see. I like this kind of highlights. That was nice. That was nice. Okay. 
Very good. Encourage the whole team. We have we haven't had a shot, right? So the first shot is something like that. I'm happy. Okay. This tree will be sitting here, right? So the Mazala, the two Mazalas are supposed to support the wing backs as they come up the pitch. Now my defensive wingers are high up the pitch. So they're gonna disrupt these two Mazalas from doing what they wanna do. Now I just gotta make sure that we keep the ball. These two guys should become ball playing defenders, bring the ball up as well. So they'll be have more players bringing the ball up. Okay, so we're gonna have to ball playing defender defend. Ball playing defender defend. Get them to dribble more. Get this guy to dribble more. So they bring the ball out. I, they bring the ball out, they attract the attention of the close. They, they attract the attention of like these two guys as well. They pull them out. Come on, uh. come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we went from no shots to now four shots on target versus six. Okay, good. Getting better there. Getting there. <laughs> Libero, Cali. You try a Libero, Carrillo, Mazala, DLFS, Central Diamond. That's challenging, man. Oi, go, go, go. Nice. Track. Just put pressure on him. Good. That's what I want. Over the top, read that. Good. Late. Out to Lima. The Mazalas are not working anymore now. Now it's Mazalas are struggling. Rowan, late. Slides it to Mina. Mina does well. Gives it back to Late. This is patient. No? For striker system trying to create chances in and around the box. Normally I don't do this. Okay. You're camping right on the bloody fringe of this. Okay, drop it a bit more. Not high line of engagement. Drop my line of engagement a bit. I'm going to be giving them room to come down the pitch. So guys, yeah, no, this is actually a very good. This is actually a very good uh, five three two. Double Mazalas. Wing backs are going up the pitch. Mazalas is supporting the play. DLP is dictating tempo, right? So this is a wing base attack. This is why I move my de defensive wingers high up the pitch. When they were here, I wasn't getting a shot on their goal. They were, it was all the way this, this this team that I'm playing against. Right. So now we're just managing to get some shots. This is they are very defensive, but what we can now do, because we're trying our best to win this game. Okay, last one is this. Okay. I gone at once forward on oh, DLF on support. Okay. Remove the pass into space. Do the hit early cross. Now we give split it some more. Try to get the winner. You want the new game now? <laughs> Who doesn't want the new game now? You can you can uh you can uh, try and possess my body for a while if you can. Then you probably get the chance to find out what the white center how the white center back is playing. Take control of my spirit. If there's such a thing. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah, we're, we're get, I'm getting a seriously annoyed with all these teams, right? <laughs> seriously annoyed with all these teams from now. Low crosses, dribble less. A lot of these teams are playing really well against me now. Um, 6.4 for Joe Amina. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We have done as much as we can. Anything more and just I'm pushing the ante. Look, that's it. I've done, I mean, we've snapped our run, but we didn't get a win. That's the thing. This is pissing me off right now. This is the longest run, man. I can't substitute Nestor Groen, you stupid supporters. I got no other strikers. We missed a chance to win. Okay. <laughs> We're still trying to win a game before the end of the stream. Yeah. This could be the longest one, man.
Friday at 29? I don't know. I cannot make those kind of announcements. Wait, what's today's date? Today is the 11th of October. Because I got to keep looking at the date, right? Got to prepare for the beta. Can you imagine? I, I actually thought today was the 24th of October. For a moment, I actually thought it was the 24th of October. I was on a full state of panic today. Because if it's, a, if it's the 24th of October, then I've got a lot of stuff I haven't done yet. Training facilities upgraded. Wow, okay. All right. Maybe the players will be a bit happy with the tra new training facilities. Man, this is a very poor start from Final. Our, our finishing is so poor right now. Okay. All right. We're going to go back to our ball playing defenders on defense. Here we go. The other option is this. Okay. These guys don't stay. Uh, okay. Actually, they can stay wider. Okay. All right. So. Hopefully, Friday at 29, maybe. Yeah. Beta is always two weeks before the main game. So. You're right, Friday the 29th is probably going to be the day they release it. Because if you notice, right, SI always release the game on a Friday. They always release the game on a Friday. They have never failed to do that. Right, so the beta will come out on a Friday. And then the full game will come out two weeks later. Twenty six of October, fourteen days before official release. Like Chris, Chris is saying it's going to be twenty six. Yeah, I don't know. Because the the full game release normally is on a Friday. The fish I has did before with Kingston as playthrough series. I don't know, man, Stephen. Because uh, I'm gonna to have to find a safe that I want to do. I'm definitely doing a. Um, I'm definitely doing a um, beta safe, right? But the beta safe will probably only be for the beta. I'm not, I probably will only be for the beta. But then I need to start a long term safe. So it could be a diff the diffuse challenge to see me back in England again. So that's the problem. I want to be out of England. So I haven't decided where I'm going to be. So I've at least got the Borussia Mönchengladbach safe lined up. But I think a lot of you guys like the diffuse challenge. Like, do you pay for beta? Do I pay for beta? Yeah, I pay I pay for my version of the beta. Yeah. So I might do a playthrough series on YouTube, right? So it'd probably be like I don't know. Um one playthrough, one live stream. Okay. So live stream, maybe I'll stay on Borussia Mönchengladbach for the live stream, right? Okay. And then do a playthrough with uh, maybe a, the Borussia Mönchengladbach safe can turn into something like a journeyman safe. Yeah. That, that could be one way of starting it. And then um, we do a YouTube series uh, for The Fuge. But I've been doing The Fuge for the last five years. It's one of the reasons why I want to do something different. Yeah, Beta is just a pre-order bonus. You don't pay for beta. So uh, that, that's what you meant. I, was, I thought you asked me a question whether I pay for beta. Meaning, do I pay for the game? I thought that was a question. Yeah. But the beta itself, if you pre-order the game, you get the beta for free. You don't have to pay for it. You used to buy the game in February after all that, but last year I bought it into the beta. Yeah. I think you should... I think Andy, you should get it in the beta. Trust me. I, I, I this is what I'm gonna say. Here. Go get the game during the beta. Don't don't wait for it to be in the um, February. You you regret it. That much I'll tell you. You might regret it. You'll be like, why didn't I get the game in beta? Again, because you got all these new. We got this first up. We got a white centre back rule. That's the first reason why you should get it. <laughs> Uh, the second reason is probably there are a few role changes that a few things that might perk your interest. Okay. Alright, we're going to drop it on to positive. Not, mm, possession is quite strong. Playing against uh, Adio Denha. Ball winning midfielder is playing well. Defensive winger is actually Mina. It shouldn't be Mina because Mina is actually a striker. 
Uh, lead. Okay, we're going to lead. Lema is a ball winning midfielder. But also the... Because normally Lema's role is actually the wing back, right? Seriously, I'm getting tired of this goalkeeper balls going to goalkeeper's hands. What is with this game and keeper's hands being so limp? I'm gonna adjust the angle of this. I got I got no mood man, today now for this. See this right? Okay, this is a this is a famous save by one of our Singaporean goalkeepers in the Malaysia Cup final. I was sitting here. He did exactly that. I mean, the ball missed him. No? Look at that. Okay, the ball comes there. Who's in the back of net? I don't know how the hell that happened, man. That's like such a soft goal. Paris FC. I know. That was another one. Another good... Uh, another good option. Paris FC. Guys... Nice. This day is not. This week has not been my good week. Previously undef unstoppable with this tactic, but now it's all falling apart. We were previously unstoppable when we started this. Previously, it was just a matter of just tweaking our striker to get more goals out of him. The team is just going through a rotten run of luck. That we need to address. Look at that. I can't substitute anybody else. I guess Haruko a chance to place the silver late played badly. Um again, not a same same setup. The white playmaker, white playmaker is screwing us up. So he's dragging my, he's dragging one of my players, defensive wingers out of position. He's probably running diagonally like this, and then pulling us, pulling some, pulling my D, uh, giving my defensive winger a big headache. Nice. It's one of those days, man, when nothing is working. Oh my god, we only won against Groningen. We lost all the other matches. This is like a, the, the fall, man. It's a tumbling. It's a tumbling, man. We went up to the 8th and then... Do, 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 do. We have to turn things around. We save it here. We have to turn things around. This is the collapse. The collapse. Uh, build a nation? What's a build a nation? I don't get that. Restart Belgrade for the lesser nations could be fun. Does that cup still exist? I don't even know what Bill is saying. I might. Well, I have to, I have to think. I, I have to find out what Bill a nation means, right? So. I don't even understand how build a nation will work in this game. All right, football manager build a nation. Let me see. What does that even mean? Build a nation. Oh. Basically, you build a nation as you you create a... I don't think it's a receiver or a representative to leave or not, but I know a select country that's now played Champions League football beyond... No, oh, I don't understand.
No, I don't want to do build a nation. I don't want to do a super long term project. That's a super long term. I've done that before. We did that many years ago on the forums, which is basically the how does the challenge work? Okay. I understand the challenge now. Essentially, what you do is you are trying to build an entire country's capacity to play at the highest tier. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to build the nation's rep reputation as you go. Now, I played that safe way back in... I played that star way back in 2004, 2005. But essentially, what I would do is I'll pick a, a league that's never qualified for the top tier, right? Okay, so meaning they've never had a Champions League winner. Um, so you pick some nation like maybe... Um, you pick like Gibraltar for some some uh, someone like that, Cyprus, right? So you pick, you go there. Then you pick a club from the nation. It doesn't matter. Then it doesn't matter. You can pick the best club. Just pick a club. Then, but the thing is here, you cannot change the DB. You cannot change the money. You cannot change any of the other rules. What you have to do is you have to actually develop the club, right? Financially as well to become a powerhouse. It's a very, very long-term challenge. You cannot do it in one seat. You cannot do it. Usually, it will take you like the entirety of a football manager cycle to do it. Because it's not you winning the Champions League. It's another club in your league joining you in the coefficients as well. So that means when you call, that means your country now, it becomes like the France, becomes the Italy's, becomes like the England's, which have more than one nation qualifying for the Champions League. You want to do a build a nation challenge? That is not a short-term challenge. That is a very long-term challenge. Yeah. You don't... No, no, no. You don't go 3.5 star league. You want to build a nation challenge? You got to go to a nation with a one star. So you got to... You can't pick 3.5 star leagues already because you need to pick a nation, a club, a nation that doesn't have existing Champions League spots like if you go to a turkey for example or 3.5 star league then it's not a build a nation because those those countries are represented in the champions league right so you want to you want to get a nation that's not represented in the champions league so what you're doing is you're moving them up the coefficient table so instead of having to play in the playoffs they get they they skip the first round of playoffs they get them in the second round of playoffs so this is a chat that is the challenge right so then you'll improve football there because then what you have to do to make the challenge work is you have to do several things. You got to develop the academy. You got to loan your players to your. You got to loan players only to your own clubs in your own country. So I've done that. I've done that challenge before many many years ago, and it's a very very good challenge. But it's a non-streaming challenge. You cannot do it while you're streaming. Why? Because you don't have time. Yeah, it's a very it's a it's a game that takes you about six to seven hours in a day, right? And you you have to be playing it whenever you are free as well. And when you're nothing better to do, you're still playing the safe. So that's a very long term challenge. It's not something that you can do like three hours on the stream, but you can you can definitely do highlights of it, right? Uh, do a YouTube series and show that. But it's 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 can't be done in. Uh, it's got to be the only save that you do. It's one of the one of the better saves. I know a lot of guys have done it before, but a lot of the guys who've done it before. Not a lot of them return to do it again. <laughs> because uh, you are trying... Okay, the trick for that save, I still remember, was in order for you to get the reputation of the league high, because it's very easy to get a 3.5 star league to 4. It's very easy. It's not hard at all. right? Because once you get from... Um, the hardest one is uh, the ones where you have to get them moving up the tiers. So the hardest league is Gibraltar, San Marino. Right, these are the hardest, right? Uh, Cyprus, I think. Uh, you take those nations which have never qualified, they, have, they, they don't have the automatic route to the Champions League. Ah, those are the ones that you want to go after. Uh, so you, you are trying to raise the reputation of all the clubs. Around. Basically, how do you do that? Because that is the challenge. And to do that, you have to raise the reputation of the other clubs as well as your own club. So you have to find and you have to do academies you have to loan your players to the... You can't loan them outside of your country. You have to loan them inside your country. So you're improving the standards of the clubs in your league as well. So it's not easy. Yeah, it's not one star league, right? You're not going that long term. That's how... That's the niche. That's the build. That's the proper build a nation challenge. It's like... um, 
the prop is like the youth development challenge as well where you you go to a, a club right you go to a league in Belgium and you go to the sixth tier of Belgium league right so you get one of those databases you go to the sixth tier of Belgium and then you go to the deepest tier you can maybe six is enough lah, usually and then you you try to do a youth only challenge right you, you can't sign any senior players the only players you can sign are youth players and then you try to get promoted with that youth team that's another psycho challenge it's uh it's one that you know it'll take you a really long time to do right that that one is a multiple fm cycles if you're not if you're the sort the person that does multiple fm cycles then yeah that's the best challenge for multiple fm cycle if you're the sort of person that always buys an fm every single year that's the worst challenge you can ever think of the easiest the easiest challenge for anybody uh, who buys an FM game every year is the um, Journeyman Challenge where you try to win a trophy and where you bring a player with you everywhere you go. That's not so hard to do. Then there's the other one is the uh, Duffield Challenge. Yeah, Duffield Challenge is kind of easy. Yeah, It's not really difficult. Well, thank everybody for coming on today's stream. You guys have been absolutely fantastic. Phenomenal support once again. Uh, there's going to be plenty of uh, stuff that I have to do. In fact, after this stream is done, I have to go and prepare for FM22. So I thank you for popping in today. I hope you had a good time. Um, I hope I answered some of your questions. And yeah, just one of those weeks, I guess. You guys take care. Have a good one. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.